Hank Sangria. Hope you're stopping here. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is motherfucking Drink, Drink Chance Podcast. Podcast. Make some noise! And right now, before we get into our guests, before we get into everything, we want to let people know that September 10th is going down. Nori, N-O-R-E, Noriega's birthday weekend. We're going to do it big out here. We're going to have a, a, a barbecue and a cookout and all that. Right, DJ Irfan? Yeah, we're going to do it correct. Champ style. So that's September 10th. We want y'all to keep it. But right now, we, we know there's Miami Kings. We're excited right now. We know there's Miami's mayors. We know there's other Miami, but this is the Miami president. This is Miami. This is Miami. This is Miami. This is right Miami. Here. If he don't get your cosign, then you you cannot live out here. He's the person. He's personally, if he didn't exist, a brother like me and RE would not exist because I, I always talk the worst shit on records. Exactly. But he's the guy who went to court and fought for me, my God given right. Yep. And won, god damn it. He was one of the part of the most controversial groups. In the world and still are relevant to this day. This man is out here coaching the not only he did all the, the crazy shit, but he's also giving back to the youth and the yep. community. If you don't know who we talking right right now, we talking about the godfather, the father of Miami, of South Florida, of speaking your mind. Sure, right now, we got Uncle Luke in the motherfucking Luke, I'm such a fan of you. Uh, I've been living in Miami for 10 years, uh, but prior to that, I've been coming to Miami 10 years before that, and I could just remember, I'm, I'm digging right into it, I could just remember Cowards in Compton. Oh, yeah. Just I could just day. remember that, cow- like, because it's crazy, because now that I lived in Miami, and I lived, I would probably say, I lived out here 10 years, so I would probably say Miami maybe six years, and then Broward maybe like Three or four, maybe even maybe even five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that saying will always be, yo, you get sprayed a day and all this. <laughs> and I never knew that they got that from so how did that even start? Like uh Well you uh, gotta you gotta you gotta set it up. We had, uh, we, had we had I'm Snoop not on, we had Snoop, Snoop on the show yeah, yeah. Right, right, a couple right. weeks ago and then right. he talked about it. He said right. that when that beef popped off, they they quickly found out how real Uncle Luke was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. That was man, my that was my transition from right. from uh, the streets to right. you know to the music business. Right. You know, I still had a lot of street in me, and I still had a lot of so my people, they took you know? a shot at you first. Uh, I, I think we took a shot at them. Yeah, you know, it was, yeah, what was the what original was? beef? Yeah. I mean, it was, it, let me tell you, it was it was it was a lot of disrespect for Miami. Mm, I yep. mean, you know, you had at one point you had Redman. Mm. And that whole thing when they did the record where they was like, "What's up, dog? What's up, right, dog?" Right, right. Remember they did the interlude yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You know, that. So yeah, they, they were dissing like, Miami. And yeah, that? they were dissing us. Yeah, because no, they dissing Macy. Everybody was shitting on him. Everybody was shitting on him. No, I think I think y'all both fucking. I'm gonna be honest. No, no, they admitted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They admitted it, but they were like, it was like you know, you know when you when you in the business like I'm in the business and we're going on tour, we're trying to do shows, you know. Niggas is giving us, you know, this much stage to work right. with, wow. you know, and 10 or 15 minutes on stage and all that. Right. Less than that. You know, one or two right. songs. So it was just a whole lot of But that was when you up. was two live crew or you was- That was um, when it was two live crew. So so now, all right, so now Snoop and them, they do this video and then you do do like- Which the, is Dre Day. The, it was Dre yeah, Day, Dre right? Day, yeah, Dre Day. And you do the same video, and yeah. then you had JT Money on there. Yeah. And then yeah. who was the other guy that was on that record? I forgot. Was it someone from Poison Clan? Was it somebody else? Uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was JT Money, and then it was uh, uh, another artist. You know that we was working with. What, right. what is, I forget what his name. Yeah, yeah, you got to draw a blank right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pour these yeah, drinks. Yeah. Let's pour these <laughs> drinks. Goddamn it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you you make this video. And then Snoop was like, and Snoop says it because at this time uh, I came out in 1997, so you guys were uh, way before that. And then Snoop was 91, I think he said when he was like, on last like 92, right, 92. Right. 92 so yeah. at this time, people are just seeing Miami beaches. Yeah, yeah. How did? Because he said that. He said he said Luke. We we figured out how real Luke was. How did that happen? Like, what, what did y'all see them somewhere? Well, I mean, you know, it was just. You right. know, back then at that period of time, right. you know, Shook Knight had and had everybody on. <laughs> right, you know, right. Shook. You know, he right, had. To, right, right. You know, yeah, they all the right. all the record executives. They all right. nervous. Everybody nervous. Right. You know, and and so during that period of time, uh-huh. it was you know 
some kind of way it became, you uh-huh. know, a question about whether or not he got us shook. You right. know, I'm like, nah, nigga ain't got me shook. Right. You know, right, right, right. I'm really on some different shit. Right. You know, I'm just right. in the music business right now. And I'm coming everybody... from something. You, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. So, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, right. we, we made the song, they made the song. Right. And then we ended up at Jack the Rapper. Mm, so Jack we, the yeah, Atlanta? Yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah. Scrap you know, some of that fat Joe So we, we basically was like, you know, hey, look. You know, I went to Jack the Rapper and was like, mm. yo, this is the time you might need to squash this. Because mm. <laughs> you in the South. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're coming down, everybody coming down yeah. for, the, yeah. for the convention. Uh-huh. So, you know, they were like, nah, we ain't got to do no talking about nothing and uh-huh. all that, right? Uh-huh. So I was like, okay, well, this shit going to go down. So, you know, uh-huh. right. once... Once my dudes, you know, right. the dudes who, again, are making a transition from right. corporate world from the streets. Right. You know, and everybody was looking at us like, oh, these some booty shaking dudes. All They're right. playing the booty music and all, all that. Right. But Thinking you know, y'all suckers. But yeah, that's no, the, no, no. We ain't, we ain't rapping about right. shit that's going to get us put in jail. Right. You feel me? I would right. look at it like, you know, dudes who be rapping about that shit. Mm. They just rapping about a nigga who they know. They ain't mm. rapping about somebody. They ain't really live that life like mm. that. You feel me? So, you know, that's that's why I went a whole different direction right. with, with what I was talking about. But at the same time, them dudes, you know, shit happened. And my homeboys on the streets was like, yo, we got a, hey, look here, we got a problem here. Right. You know, because they, they hear the record. Right. And they hear the, the chatter. And mm-hmm. they hear what them dudes doing to other dudes. And it was it, the shit went in motion, right. where it was totally, it was it was it got in the motion where I can't I couldn't really control it mm. to a whole degree. Where I'm sitting up at the hotel in Atlanta, you so, know the fucking Nico Hotel, and my dudes came up there. You know, I like, got the fuck y'all got here. <laughs> you know, and these are the wrong dudes. Right. And I'm like, uh, they're like, yo, yo, shit, we gotta stop to these niggas. Uh-huh. So it's like eight of the most notorious motherfuckers you ever want to meet from Miami. From Miami. From Miami. Yeah, right. <laughs> drove their car there. Right. They're like, we drove here. Right. Drove, what are we doing? <laughs> right. You know, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. I'm right. like, hold on, hold on, hold right. on. We can't do this. You know, because right. again, I'm coming from the streets. Right. And you you're trying to convert. Do, and we right. woke up like that. Mm. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm like, hold on. And then it was like, hey, hey man, well, you know. We gonna kill this nigga. We gonna kill this nigga. We gonna kill this nigga. I said, no, 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 no. We ain't uh, killing nobody. Uh, you know, nah. Well, we gonna have to let my, we gonna have to touch uh, somebody, somebody up. So, uh, shit hit the fan. You know, at that point. And then how did y'all after that? Um, uh, how did uh, like uh, we don't have to describe if anything happened because you know we we a positive show. Right, right, right. But how how did y'all eventually work that out? How we worked it out? Yeah. I mean, you know, I I ended up having a conversation with Suge. We right. ended up talking, right. you know, and and then you know at that time I think the Bengals and somebody was playing Super Bowl down okay. here, and so I kind of invited them down. Right. I was like, "Yo, man, y'all come on down, hang out with me." Right. You know, I had a suite in the uh, Dolphin Stadium, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Y'all be my guests, and we all, you know, we need mm-hmm. to squash it because mm-hmm. I ain't on that." Right. You know, I'm, li- I'm I'm leaving that life. Somebody's got more salsa water. Okay. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So then they came down and we kind of squashed it. Wow. You know. Now you also this was this was which was crazy. You also had words with Run DMC. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Yeah. I didn't even know. That. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you must have read my book. Yeah. 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 It was crazy. Like I was you, like, he was a promoter. You would bring him down, right, to Miami? Because yeah. you gotta realize. Like I'm from New York, you know what I'm saying? Um, I recently migrated to, but we never heard these this news because we didn't have the internet back right. then. You know what I'm right. saying? So this would be little industry things, and I remember hearing you saying somewhere like they were acting like pussies or something like that. Run DMC, yeah. what happened? Let's describe that for well, the people. I mean, you know, that, that the whole crazy. problem, the whole thing with that was, you know, I was again just like right. you said, I was a promoter. Right. You know, right. I was bringing all the hip hop to Miami. There wasn't no hip hop. Mm. You right. feel me? Mm. So Run and all of them would come down and they would mm. be, you know, I paid them right. five hundred thousand right. dollars. Then you know, okay, end up, hold they on. ended up. Did Luke just say he paid Run DMC five hundred for a oh, show? Yeah. Let's make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, this time out. Well, we don't know what this era is, of Run DMC this is it for was. All, it doesn't matter. Run DMC <laughs> is legends. Well, listen. Yeah, yeah. This is for all the new artists that think you're supposed to come out and get 15000 oh, right. a first oh, show. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people who, you have, legends have to start from somewhere. So go ahead, yeah, Man, let me tell you, I, I was shit. We had, uh, <laughs> we had Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde down here. Mm. He ended up, what, fucking running mm. Motown or something like mm. that. You feel me? Yeah. yeah, Andre. That's right, that's right. That's right. All those guys. All right. I mean, you name it, I would bring all those guys down here. Right. You know, because, you know, even on the radio, Miami wasn't playing no hip-hop. Right. 
You feel me? So then I'm like, you know, I'm into it because I'm right. a DJ uh -huh. and I'm bringing dudes down, I'm bringing people from everywhere, Cali, right. my uh, right. New York, right. you know, Jazzy J and all them dudes, right. Mantronics, you name it. Just bringing all them dudes and down did, And run, and they were acting funny or something? Or? Yeah, they got brand new. Right. Yeah, we was in, we was in, uh, <laughs> we was in Gulfport, Mississippi. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Okay. And uh, Leo Corn was their okay, right. manager at the time. That's uh, when he was, Leo, sniffing coke Leo. He got the pictures in his office. I've seen it. I, he, he said, he said it. This when I was the road manager. I was a coke sniffer. Continue. Continue, yeah, Lou. So Leo was the, the uh -huh. road manager, uh -huh. right? And... Um, and so we in Gulfport, Mississippi, mm -hmm. getting ready to do the show. So they was like, everybody was like, yo, well, Ron said you could only have five minutes on stage. Ron said you're going to have one uh, set of lights. Ron right. said, you know, your sound's going to be a run. Run right. DMC say this, run DMC that. Right. I'm like, how the fuck we going to do a show right. with five minutes on stage? And right. we got, you know what I'm saying, we right. got at least four or five songs. Number right. one, they ain't want us on the show, no way. Mm. Because they had to have us. It was like... Mm. These niggas from the South, we ain't really fucking with them. Mm. Everybody mad that we got to do a show with these guys because we're selling so many records mm. in the city to sell, to sell, you know, the tickets. Right. So it was just too much run this, too much run that again. Right. <laughs> I'm still got this street shit in my right. head. So right. at the end of the day, you know, I was like, man, fuck Run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some noise for you. Yeah. Man, fuck Run DMC. That hurts me to my heart. But I gotta make some noise for that. Yeah. Well, so, so I told I told uh, him I told Mr. Mix I was like Mr. Right. Mix this is what we're gonna do since we ain't got shout out five, Mr. Mix yeah right. <laughs> since we ain't right. got but five minutes on stage mm. we just gonna cut Peter Piper mm. and so I went on the, on the, got the microphone went on stage yo these motherfuckers here run them see them say right. we ain't got but five minutes on stage right. so what we gonna do in our five minutes we gonna right. scratch that shit <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper Peter Piper Peter Piper Peter Piper Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper. <laughs> yeah fuck these niggas <laughs> <laughs> Peter Piper Peter Piper, Peter Piper yeah. They uh, ran up on stage uh, and all that. Uh, you know, when they ran up on stage, then we was like, okay, let's uh, go. Let's do what, uh, do what we got. So the police ended up running up on stage. Okay. You know, back then, nigga was packing. Right. For real. All right, and now, now, I know you're cool with all of these guys. But, yeah, yeah, them but, my dudes right But, but how, how, how do you like, how, like, because like, you, 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 you see why in, 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 in nowadays it's so hard to squash beef. Because you see how I knew about, you know, that. I knew about that. But that's because it wasn't on the blogs. That's because it wasn't on the internet. You right, know what I'm saying? Y'all on the blog. We still be Y'all still be beefing. Trolling so, right now. So, so would you say it was still, it was easier? Trending. It was easier to squash beef then? Well, because, I mean, it was easier if you was a real nigga. If you, mm. was, if you was a pussy, then it was right. going to keep on. Wow. You know, and, and then you don't have the, the fans instigating on Twitter. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, mm. Motherfuckers be instigating mm. that shit. Yeah, right, right. Like they just had uh, uh, Drake fans just ran up on Joe Buttons. Shit is real. Like you, are, are the mother, you ain't see that? Oh, those dudes that ran. Yeah, up? they ran up at Joe Buttons' house. Then they, they 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 got they got beef, and one of his fans just run up on him. Like this is this is a totally fucked up world. Right, right. right. You're glad y'all this business. Yeah, man. Yeah, Make yeah. some noise for you like this. <laughs> so, he's not out of the business. Are you well, completely out of the business? Well, when you got catalog that's selling. That's right. Well, yeah, still, they, they so. keep me on the fucking one road. Foot in, I'm one like, foot out. Yeah, I'm like the old Jays. I stay on the road. So now, before we get to the, 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 the one of my favorite Jay Z interviews ever was with you. We're gonna get to that <laughs> next. You wrote this book, right? What what was that like uh, inspired by? How, how many games? How many years have you been in this game? Oh man. You didn't. You got to draw yeah. another blank. Probably yeah. about a good thirty. Well, eighty five mm. was the, the label started. Yeah, eighty five. Mm. Eighty five. Which would be the first? Would you be the first black owned independent hip hop label? Yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. make some noise for that. Guy. Relax. I've oh, always shit. wanted to know. I've right. always told people. I've, I was like, this gotta be one of the first presses. I don't know. I, I, that's what I say. Yeah, he loves Is this Miami. one of the first presses of yeah. Two Life? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah. 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 Let me see. Yeah. Hold on, Luke Skywalker <laughs> got that Ooh, shit at Specs. <laughs> Made my mom buy it for me because I couldn't get. It. I was too young. Hey. Now, now when I Made see this. Me. Now when I see this, uh, I, it says Luke Skywalker and the Two Live Crew. Were well, you always like the producer, and the DJ, jam. and uh, yeah. you was always like the the main attraction? You or uh, pretty pretty much? Uh, it was it was more. I was more like I, I didn't really want to be in the group. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then it was mm -hmm. more like, all right, I need to be in the group because right. this shit is a little. You know, bland. We gotta have a little bit so of. So you was already here. started prior to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, was a okay. DJ. Oh, I was, okay. My DJ name was Luke Skywalker. Okay, and then how did y'all meet? 
Well, bringing them down, doing a concert. Oh, they're not from Miami? No, they're not LA, from Miami. LA. Oh, they're from LA. Oh, my God. We from New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm from New York. We just all, all three of them? No. All three uh, of them? Well, uh, Fresh Kid Ice is from Brooklyn. Brother Marquise is from oh uh, Rochester. And Mr. Mix is from San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I knew for sure Mr. Mix was. Like, when I was watching those videos, I was like, I was a kid, because I was born in 77. So, what year? Uh, that had to be like 80, 87. 87. So, I must have been 10 years old watching that shit. Miami is the place to be. Y'all yeah. always but had to There was a group already, like, they was doing something because of the military they met or something, or in LA? They was in the military. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Marquise and, uh, and uh, Fresh Kid Ice was in the military in California, and then the, the other original member was Yuri V. Lott. Mm-hmm. He was in the group. He was the one on the flip side of beatbox doing the contract. Oh, I did. I, yes, I yeah, did. Yeah. I, I did hear about. So we gotta celebrate your your book right now. Come oh, on, no come on. Have, have a drink, man. Come on, man. Hey, we gotta no have problem. a drink with Uncle Luke, man. Bacardi. Yeah. Look, so I got, got the right this shit. This fat, you know, you know. I'm this how I made all my records. <laughs> oh, on Bacardi, you know. Yeah. What's up? You know, he, you know, he, he lo- he's born and raised from Miami. Well, well born in LA, but born raised, in LA. raised in Miami. Oh, yeah. but Miami. The people know that we Cuban, record this so show automatic. in Miami, right. and you have been hands down one yeah. of the most highly requested guests because, oh, okay. you know, what I'm saying because of all your history. So we're going to celebrate. I'm excited. Book, we man. finally get Miami we representation. We finally get Miami here. Look, gotcha. <laughs> Do we have gunplay? We have gunplay. Luke is, is a, and we is got a Ross legend. coming up. We got yeah. Ross coming up. But yeah, I just want to, you know, mid interview say thank you so much because so many people have requested because I, I am not like one of them guys that um want to come to a town and don't give back from the town mm-hmm. and don't you know help. And we're gonna yeah, get to that phone town, call that's too. Good. Um, but because I, I, you know what, right now we'll do it right now because I remember you saying that it was you was. Um, it was like some type of discre- discrepancy with like a Drake or Wayne, and I believe a baby or something. And you said something that was that was that was that was real, real powerful to me. You said, "You guys come out here, you you t- you, you you smoke our drugs, you fuck our women, and they don't give nothing back to us." Yep. And he, let me tell you something. That's why I don't fuck nobody's girl in Miami. <laughs> I, don't, I have never. I, I say, Uncle Luke kept me out of that. God damn it. You kept me and Fat Joe out of that. But no, well, you can, you, know, can, you can still knock him down. No, no, no. no, no I know what you mean. I know what you meant. And, um,. So, so is that how you feel? Like the Miami has to have this pride in order for you guys to, to move forward? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's you know, my thing when I made the statement I did it mm-hmm. in my uh, column that I mm-hmm. do at the mm-hmm. Miami New Times. Mm-hmm. It was more down the lines of uh, right. if you move here, right. you feel me? Right. You know, then you need to give back to yeah. the community. Right. Yeah, you, know, you, got right. you know, and not only this community, right. Right. anywhere around the country, because, right. you know, back in the days when we was doing shit, right. you know, on a regular basis, you know, we all, we knew we had right. to give back. You right. know, I looked at every hip hop artist as a representative of a of a city. Mm. You know, when they, when when the word rep came out, mm. you know, what city you rep? Mm-hmm. You know, you got a guy repping, you know, the guys over there, you know, mm-hmm. Lil James them rep- mm-hmm. repping, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Houston. You know, mm-hmm. you had guys repping everywhere. Right. But at the same time, they were giving back to the community. Right. So if you live here, then if you move here, which is fine and right. great. You right. know, hey, look, yep. that's a that's an excellent thing. But, yep. you know, go and read a fucking book right. to some yep. kids. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now you're a, a, you're a citizen right. of Miami. Right. Yeah, you don't know, stay don't, on South Beach. Yeah, don't stay there. Yeah, definitely South definitely, South definitely South don't stay on South Beach. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's bullshit. Go to Overtown. Go to Kendall. Exactly. Go to Alapata. Find a guy. Find a guy. Go to Goose. 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 Nobody said nothing, but then Drake said something, mm-hmm. and then he moved though. Yeah, because Drake was living here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. He said, it was crazy because he said, "Tell Uncle Luke about Miami too," and yeah. then like a month later, he was gone. Like, <laughs> yeah, then, was he had something to do with that, or that was just uh, uh, a coincidence? I, you don't know? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make some noise for that. Drake say that and I'm like alright I want to see and then all of a sudden he was in California and I was just like yeah you know Drake yeah. is a nice guy yeah you, you didn't know. take it you, you understood I that didn't, yeah, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't you understood it you yeah cause out. you know I like I like uh, mm-hmm. you know I like direct shots mm. you know indirect shots no subliminals people. yeah no subliminals so you know they, to me that wasn't a direct shot right. it was more like oh right. I'm here right. you should have mentioned me in the article right. too right. you know and I'm like <laughs> right. oh okay I'm sorry right. if I took it if I took it a direct shot yeah nah nah so now what's your relationship with Puff 
Puff Daddy. Like, cause Puff, you guys come Puff, from Puff, my man. Right, right. Yeah, Puff. I like Puff. Puff right. like my little son. Mm, that's you know what I'm saying? That's my, what's up. Let's make some noise for Puff being his little son. Goddamn. Yeah, goddamn. Goddamn. You brought salsa water? You brought salsa water? Damn, you foul guy. Yeah, foul. yeah. You can't, have, you, can't have, you can't have Dominican friends. That's my f- friend, Mr. Lee. He forgets <laughs> everything, my brother. Nobody brought salsa water. It's fucked up. This, yeah, is, got this is my friend, Fat Joe's uh, vodka. Like, like, Fat Joe got a vodka. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, bring yeah, that right, over here. This, this okay, yeah, what is that, called? Lean Royal. Right. Nah, lean back. That's, that's what it should be called. <laughs> Royal. The bottle is nice. Uh, uh, nice the bottle. bottle should be bent, right? Right. Mm, <laughs> for the lean back. Oh, look at the way up. It's up for all the way up. <laughs> so now, Uncle Luke, you hear, you hear this, the, the, these, these, these children nowadays. What music do you like? Sit back in, of a new artist, and you say, you know what? I fuck with that. Man, I, I mean, I'm all over the place. I mm. mean, when it comes to music, you know, I, I mean, I listen to J. Cole. I mean, I listen to all kinds. Mm. You know, I mean, as long as the guy's straight, I listen to. Him. Right. You know what I'm saying? If it's, if he, right. you right. know, funny style. If right. it's different, right. uh, I don't listen to it. Funny style. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I just see that like that. Uh, yeah, I understand. You know? I caught it. I caught it. Took me a second. I caught it. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I'm all yeah. over. I listen. You know, I'm a. I'm a. I love music. Right. You know, I am, you know, I love good music. I love interesting music. Right. You feel me? Like, okay, damn, that shit. That was different. Right. You know, oh man, I like that beat. I don't like. I, if if I hear the same beat. Right. Then I'm, I'm going to, I mean, it's like a whole bunch of shit with the same beat okay. right now. So I don't really vibe with it. You know, I listen to some, I listen to some, um, some fucking Drake and I listen to some, uh, you know, I'm a Jay-Z fan. Anything mm-hmm. Jay, were, were there any DJs in Miami that inspired you that you looked up to? Uh, like, I know that the Frankie, that Frankie, Frankie Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Frankie Hollywood inspired me. I mean, he, he you know, everything that he did, breaking records. Because the way much, that Miami DJs spun... Like the ghetto style DJs, yeah. Sugar Hill DJs, Jam Pony, Jam Pony Express. Well, they they from Tampa, really, right? Yeah, I don't know where they from. Yeah, they were little. Well, I, we, we never really considered them as DJs because it was more like the first studio DJs. Right. Mm. But that, you know, that, if you're a DJ in Miami, you set your fucking speakers up and you got in a battle and you had to go head to head with another group. Mm. And if you could survive that shit, you good. Mm. So Jam Pony was always doing that shit in the closet, uh-huh. which I I like their stuff and right. all that. But they were in the closet doing but what they had to definitely do. Definitely Sugar Hill DJs get. Sugar Hill, yeah, Rest all of them boys. Uncle Al. Yeah, all them boys that was on the You got any Uncle Al stories, old Uncle Al Look stories? Okay. That was a good dude, man. I like this. That was a good <laughs> dude, <laughs> man. I got to link with him at Studio 183, and he was just such a good, humble dude. Al is like Al is like my other little son. You know, I love that dude to death. God bless his soul. You know what I'm saying? Al is... Al, good people. You know, Al, Al, Al you know, Al, my last time talking to Al, he was like, Luke, you know, his whole conversation was basically down the same lines, too. You know, man, you got a lot of dudes around here, man. You the only one can pretty much hold this shit down and get the respect because a lot of, a lot of these other artists and a lot of these other companies doing a lot of selling out. Right. You know, you need to hold this shit down so people can... Uh, you know, still give us the respect and probably two weeks after that he died. Because I remember I met Al for a second and I thought he was going to shut me down because this is when I'm coming up. Is Uncle Al you talking about? Huh? Yeah. 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 Rest in peace. And I met him at Studio 183. We used to go and open up for shows out there. Mm -hmm. Um, And I remember I brought him a record and it wasn't the typical record I thought he would like. You know, Mm -hmm. we was on some straight boom bap hip hop shit. But Mm -hmm. we repping Miami and he said to me, as long as you rep in the crib, I'm fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I never forget that from him. He was yeah, yeah, Miami yeah, niggas is racist. It's a fact. Let's make some noise. <laughs> if, if, if it ain't from Miami, Miami niggas don't support it, man. I respect that, man. I came out here and learned early. It's a fact. Hey, did you know? Did you uh-huh. know? Tell us. I want to know the Griff story too. Griff, because Griff came. You know, Griff. Griff from Public Enemy. You had beef with him too. You no, 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 no. He, he, he helped Griff. Oh, he helped okay, Griff. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, put me on. Well, well, Griff, I mean, the Griff story, I mean, Griff had just got kicked out of Public Enemy. Because okay. he made the Jewish comment. Yeah, okay, he made yeah, the Jewish yeah. comment. Um, yeah. You know, and I, you know, I, I, I like Griff, you mm-hmm. know, as a person, because I got to meet Griff, you know, because that was a whole other movie. We was in uh, mm. Savannah, Georgia, mm. and, uh, you know, Public Enemy had this, this, uh, this, uh, this manager, mm-hmm. another 
you know, fuck Miami, fuck this, fuck that. Right. Y'all got five minutes on stage, shit. Right. And I'm like, this don't look right. right. Uh, Public Enemy got a little white manager, right. you know, talking shit like this. And I'm like, uh. okay, fight the power. And then I beat his ass. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> With a white manager? Yeah, I beat Let's make some noise for beating up the white manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we lose yeah, all yeah. our sponsors. Here I am beating this motherfucker up. And mm. then here come Griff and all them. Griff like, yo, 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 come on. So me and him. Became right. real good friends at that great. time, me and Chuck. So then right. they ended up, you know, some kind of way he ended up getting out of the group right. for whatever, you know, the right. comments was. And right. then, you know, and Grip ended up coming. He has, he had a group. Uh, uh, he was working with Society. The society came in. Yeah, That's and my so then society. he came down. And then it was like, look, man, you know, explain to me what happened. You know, and uh, I was like, okay, man, I'm gonna, I'll look out for you. I'll put you on. All you right. know. He made that out of shot. love. Like, that was just on yeah, the street. Yeah, because anybody was fucking with Nobody. He wow. was blackballed. Like, yeah. Wow. Was, yeah, and he gave him a home. Wow. Was a wow. And you signed him or something? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. He, and that's oh, what I meant wow. by giving right him a home. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'll make some noise for yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. So, I heard you say this man's name earlier. I, uh, uh, I also said his man's name earlier, but one of the funniest interviews I've ever seen is... Uh, is is that that's that's Miami or was that Atlanta? I think it was. It was two bitches. One was eating a bitch out, and Jay was trying. Jay Z, I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> he was trying to be cool because he's just a cool character. This is my man. I spoke to him this morning. He's a cool character. You're just stunning on us right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, he's a cool character. But when I looked at that interview, tears <laughs> was coming out my eyes because he's trying to be cool, but they're really eating each other out. Like, yeah. this is not, you can tell, like, you know when they be like, mm, they got their lips puckered. <laughs> no, these bitches is doing it for real. And Jay is standing there, Luke, Luke Warren here to see his shit. He like, yo, you can tell Luke is, is nothing faded from Luke. But Jay is like, I almost seen sweat coming down. Like, I've never seen Jay like that. Like, yeah, he was all fucked. Yeah, describe. Describe. Yeah, describe. That's what I used to do. I mean, yeah. God, I, I, I used to do the. I created this show called Luke's Peep Show. Yep. 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 Wasn't right. this a segment called I Captain had that on VHS. Dick? VHS. <laughs> this, this wasn't Captain Dick a, a segment, something like that. <laughs> I got. Yeah. So I would, yeah. just, you know, what I would do yeah. in, the, in the show, uh -huh. you know, it actually came on Action Pay Per View, which was wow. owned by yep. BET. Wow. You feel me? So what we would do is take all the, uh, you know, the club versions of the videos and put right. them on. On the air, right. so I would do a show and I would interview uh, different artists like Lil right. Kim. Right. You know, okay, yeah, you talking about sucking dicks and all right. that. Right. So I would have a big orgy right, right in the background. Right. You know, really, I'm just, I'm really just fucking with the artists. You know, I, you know, I nearly did the song. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I had a chick like, okay, go ahead and suck his dick. You know, so I'm in the building and the girl pulling his pants down. He like, yo, 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 chill. I'm we like, just okay. had him on here. We I'm just like, had him on here. I'm like, you really ain't on it. <laughs> Like my whole, the whole thing was, right. y'all niggas making these records, right? But I want to see if you really bought that. Right. You feel right. me? Right. So I would create the whole scene mm. of, about what you talking about, mm. you know. And if you looking like, no, nah, that, that let me know that you was on uh, the bullshit. Well, we just had Akinelli on here, and yeah. he must have took that from you. <laughs> he, he said that. Let me tell yeah, you. Let yeah. me tell you. During how can I be down? Uh -huh. Right, the convention. Uh -huh. He had a, a boat party that that was going uh -huh. on, and everybody knew. We had to be on that boat party, mm. and then we all would get on. The, I think it was at Bayside. We would dock yeah. at dock, right? So we, some of my dogs in here, we went on it. Mm. You get on the boat, it was calm for a second. Yeah. As soon as that motherfucker took off, Luke got on the mic, and the strippers came out. Oh yeah, yo, had uh, chicks sitting yeah. on forty ounces and uh, lifted uh, it up, and oh, oh, yo, it was the craziest yeah. shit in the Luke, world, man. Luke, um, we asked, we asked yeah, all our artists yeah. questions. Oh uh, no, nah, this is where we lose all our appetizers. <laughs> this is where he fucks us up right now. Oh. How, how many? How many? How many grandmothers out there? Right, this is a different type of oh, question. That's a different question now. That you know you slid, you ran dog. Oh, okay, like, it's a different question. It's a different question. Like, Thank you. I'm not gonna lie. It's maybe a couple. Grandmothers? Grandmothers? Right now, they, they, they might be grandmothers. What because you, you know, you look at the room say, Luke be, might be one of yeah, y'all motherfucking daddy. Luke, Luke, yeah, Luke might be somebody daddy. Yeah, yeah. My nigga, bro. My nigga. Yo, Randy Maxwell, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta listen, man. You and Luke, man. Randy Maxwell, man. Come on. But Luke, because back then, Y'all didn't really have rubbers, or rubbers wasn't really popular. Come on, what you acting? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't disease, it wasn't disease-based. He said rubbers didn't exist. I mean, they were popular back then. 
the late the late <laughs> <laughs> said, y'all have mask skin only. Yeah, but, and listen, when I look at your videos, you know, once, once know. the shit got dry, the rubber was broke. Maybe they got mad. Because I watch your videos, and you ain't have, you ain't have ugly bitches. Like, no, no, no. It's a no. big difference. Like you will get bitches to get naked. But if they're if they're already twos, they're already ones with low self esteem. It's easy to get hard naked. But when you got the the twenty five chick, oh yeah, that, that my lead, thing. Oh, yeah. no, you gonna get naked. Mm. You gonna eat some pussy. Mm. <laughs> you, you gonna put this bottle in your pussy. You gonna put a baby doll in your pussy, and I wanna see you have it right here. Reverse proof. Reverse proof. Reverse birth. You gonna put a phone. You gonna put a cell phone in your pussy, and I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you pussy. I'm gonna call you pussy. He said I'm gonna call you pussy. I'm gonna call you pussy. Ain't no way I gotta call you over I gotta tell you fucking over it. Yo, I did that. I did that shit one night. I had to be out of my fucking mind. You know this shit is made me do a lot of things. Do you realize? All the stuff that you, all the, that, like, you would be locked up nowadays. Like, I mean, I thought, I mean, back then worse. Yeah. No, but, but, no, I got locked up. But no, but what I'm saying is, you, like, or, I know, whoa. <laughs> but, um, what I'm saying is, nowadays, they're so coarse. It's like the NBA. Like, you, they got they something called flocking and all that. Like, back then, people were just hitting each other, and y'all were just fucking everywhere, having a ball. But nowadays, police would. I, but how did that, how did the even controversy start? Because what did they want to stop you um, from performing or from. Uh, from uh, going in town fucking their daughters. <laughs> Let's make some noise for who's fucking their daughters. <laughs> So, so they bring gotta you give him, the, Gotta give him the, Yeah yeah, yeah. Champ, champ, champ for that champ champ champ. Right there. And let's toast to the book One more time man The, the they, book of Luke the book Yeah of Luke. the book of Luke So Your, la- your record label Informs you that you, You're about to have a case Or Hold on hold on Okay Time out mm-hmm. Record label inform me He's the record label mm. No I own the shit <laughs> My bad I'm sorry yeah, I own the shit <laughs> <laughs> He said He literally <laughs> pressed <laughs> this one right the there The first I the pressed that motherfucker The first black label That that alone we gotta get back to Cause I want a segment on that alone But So you you receive a letter Cause there's no emails back then And they say You got a fax Yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah right right No I got a letter You know uh-huh. When the kids was getting it Like we had this song Throw the dick uh, what? Throw the dick. 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 Throw the Miami get together. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited. We were all excited. But, <laughs> no so problem. how do you find out about this? No, you know some parent, the PTA from Alabama. Wow. You know one of those little oh, schools. Shit. They hit me up, sent me a letter. It was like, hey, look, you know the kids is getting this this throw the dick version of the song, mm-hmm. and I was like, I ain't really trying to have kids get it. That's right. not the intent. Right. It's more of a, an adult thing. Uh-huh. So then that's when I created the parental advisory sticker mm. that you see on the record. Oh, so right you now. created oh, that? You yeah, came yeah, up with that idea? I knew, that. Yeah, I knew yeah, this. Yeah. I was. I had, wow. that, I had that for a question for I later. I didn't even know but that. Let's just make. Listen, listen, listen. People don't understand that that parental advisory sticker is so important. If that parental advisory sticker wouldn't have existed, you wouldn't have. I don't want just half a hip hop. I'm about to start naming groups, but. I gotta applaud you for that. I gotta applaud you for fighting for the rights. But, but I want you to go through it for the and, and for the people that you know what I'm saying, you can read the book of Luke as well. But I want you to go through it for our fans. We got dumb fans, they don't read. You know what I'm saying? So um They read. Get the fuck out of I mean I, <laughs> the niggas that like me don't read. I'm, I'm a resource room. I'm from the resource room. So you get that letter and then they stop pushing the records or Well, I get the what what happens I get the letter. Uh-huh. Cause I'm, you gotta remember, at that period of time, I'm the only one mm. doing explicit lyrics on a rap record, mm. ain't nobody doing no cussing, no nothing. Right. So you get the letter in, and at the same time, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I gotta figure this shit out. So right. I start using the, you know, the movie industry standards. I just mm. took that idea because I always know everything that I had to do. It had to be common sense, and it right. had to be already right. something that was already established. So that's when I came up with the idea of. NC-17, mm. you feel me? Like, 17, 
under 17 can't look at the movie. Mm. So I took that R rating system mm. and used it in the music system, and then I then alerted all the record stores that, hey, look here, I'm going to put a sticker on here. Don't sell the kids this version, but sell them the, the, the clean version. How did that and become then, standard, though? Yeah, but you did that on your own? Or? I did that on my own. Yeah, he did it on his own. Wow. That's what I know. How did it become oh, they, standard? They, 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 no, it was no other hip-hop, rap, none of that. Could, couldn't you have made money off of the idea of the sticker yourself? Yeah, I should have did that. Uh, I should have I should have patented it. You should have patented uh, it. But you know, they would have had to buy it off you. Know, it was more about the the RIAA, right. you know, uh, adopting the sticker. So right. if they adopted the sticker, then it was industry standard. Right. That any other artist that would come behind me, you know, they would just put the sticker on there. They were able to do the music that they want to do and say what they want to say in the records. Now, when C. Dolores Tucker was coming at Tupac, that was after you, correct? When they was coming at Tupac and Snoop and, and about the, the bulldozing the over the yeah, bulldozing yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. That was, yeah. that was all I said, yeah. So, and, oh my God. But they they had had the parental advisor on there. Yeah, yeah. Right. They were just. See, that's, that was the whole thing. He was the first project that was young. I did. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't. I that's didn't know crazy. that he yeah. actually came yeah, I, up with I it. I thought that right. came out of the, the, the court stuff and everything. So you're saying right. that that just happened because you wanted to do it, and then the yeah, that, I, because I wanted to do it. That happened. I did that on my first record, mm. first record, which was throw the D, and the answer was throw the P. That was right. my first record doing with Two Live Crew, and right. so I did that at that period of time. And you know, it's almost you know, it was it was a no brainer because at the same time you got kids that came buy cigarettes, right. so right. you look on the back. A right. store owner already know not to sell the kids cigarette beer, anything like that. Right. So then, you know, I just said, okay, let me put a sticker on here that will let a clerk know because I'm thinking about it. You know, it's little kids that work at the record store. So you put the, you know, sticker on there. Don't sell did, this. this to the did kids. this have it? Nah. This one had it? That one probably did. Because I know, I can tell you right yeah. now, I couldn't buy it. Right, I was, right, right. I, was, yeah, my, my, I wow. told my mom, this is like some really good music. Yeah, I did. I, and she I, bought it for me. <laughs> there, was a, there were a whole lot of records that went out again that didn't have a stick. Because all this, when I'm changing right, over. Right, it's all happening. It's all, in real okay, time, all right, right. These new pressings will go out with the sticker on there. Now, did you have the ideas for the video as you was recording yeah, and shit? Yeah. You knew that you were going to have butt naked bitches no, I mean, running they, around. You knew that. You no, knew that. I mean, the whole thing with that, you know, I looked at everything, you know, because again, you know, I'm a fucking hip hop junkie. Right. You, you feel me? So I'm coming from bringing, you know, historic hip hop artists like Divine Sound, you name it, right. T Rock, uh, right. Jazzy G, all these, right. all these guys down here. Uh -huh. So I'm like, I'm from Miami. Mm -hmm. You know, I looked at a lot of people, you know, don't disrespect the mm -hmm. Ice T and a mm -hmm. whole lot of these other guys. They were right. from other places, but they wanted to be like New York. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I respect New York, I love right. New York to death. Right. But at the same time, I'm about right. where you from. Right. You know, you gotta, you know, rep your city. So right. I wanted to show my city, this is what we do. Right. You know, we walk around half naked. We yeah, got beaches. That's a fact. We got all the wild shit going on. That's a fact. So I wanted to show that. That's a fact. You know, part of what we're about. You know, how we living as far as the hip hop scene. That's a fact. I drove down Miami Beach the other day, man, and I was just driving down, and it was nothing but half naked chicks here. I said, anywhere else in the world, I would call that bitch a slut. Right here, this is yeah. normal as motherfucking tire, man. Let's go. Let's make some noise for Miami being half naked. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see this club right here, the Pack Jam. Mm. That's like a rite of passage. Yeah, back yeah, in yeah. the days mm. for Miami, like, like we was, we, we was Kendall boys, and we was like, we gotta go to Pack Jam just to prove that. Are, that are, we are, they, are they getting robbed in Pack Jam? Oh yeah, you get robbed. Hip hop, Pack Jam. Jam. <laughs> And then he, and then he had club. never a good hip hop club unless people get robbed in there. Let's just throw you out there. Jam. Yeah, just I went to Pack Jam. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pack Jam was crazy. Yeah, yeah, Pac yeah. Pack Jam was crazy. We was young jits going in there and then girls getting butt naked. We were like, oh shit. Pack right. Jam was like the red parrot in New York. So now yeah. they, they, they're trying to ban your records and then you go even crazier with the videos. Because yeah. you single handedly, because of you, there's shows like BT. I think you created YouTube. Like oh, more, 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 more so than uh, uh, you know, video the, the jukebox. Well, well, well yeah, jukebox yeah, is the video shit jukebox. That set the jukebox, us off. but but they were showing guns. You were showing ass, like you know, they yeah, were showing yeah, New York yeah. artists. It's guns. all explicit. It's you all were showing same, ass, yeah. but I think that single hand if that single handedly transferred to YouTube because yeah. people were saying, well, you know what, we can't watch it here. Then yeah. we want to watch it somewhere else, and I think. Like in a, in a little way, YouTube owe you some money. Let's make some noise for we're gonna start YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, somewhere. send me some money. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, send it, send it now. Do yeah, something, but, do a deal. But with just Luke. think about it. Like, 
And then BET Jams, it had, it had transferred to BET Jams. Yeah, BET and- hated me. They hated, they hated me. To Why? this day, they hate me right Why? now. Why? Because they couldn't play your records or because? Well, because I was pushing the envelope of, right. of sexually mm. intriguing mm. videos And BET seemed on like it was, it was really backed by the whole gospel side of BET as well. Like, it seemed like they would be offended. Well, I mean, back, back then, you know, I mean, back then, black people were very, very conservative. This mm-hmm. shit that I was doing was unheard Out the of. Box. You know, I had every... Hip hop artists hating, you know what I'm saying? You had the kitten plays and shit. They would get on BT. They would do shows where they interview guys and be like, "Yo, do you like this two live crew motherfuckers and this Uncle Lou?" Nah, fuck them. I don't like them. That ain't hip hop. They ain't shit. They ain't. You know they would do that. You know, mm. so we would be pushing the envelope through the video jukebox. You right. know, and be like, "Okay, why y'all ain't playing this shit?" And they would be losing ratings, and right. people would be looking at the box. So right. it became a big. Real beef, and then that's when I ended up doing a show when Bob Johnson had the station. But everybody else still hated me. Mm. You know, the people that there right now, uh, who are still there right now, they were there back then. They still hate my ass to this fucking day because oh. I pushed the envelope so hard that you know they had to change their way of programming. Mm. People just didn't understand Miami, especially. No, I mean it was a it, motherfuckers from Peoria, Illinois. They sitting like, up there like, what right. the fuck? They, they, These they people naked, it. you right. know. And so. You know, they you know they had a, a real problem with what we were doing. Uh, well, yeah. let me tell you, I don't know who those people are, but I'm telling you, you helped my childhood. <laughs> I, I got a that strong... That was an important part. That was an important part, man. I got a strong right he hand. He taught you the birth of the yeah. beast? So, <laughs> that was a good old day. That was a good old day. Yeah, man. you knew where to stick it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm just sitting yeah. back watching, like, I got to get to my hand. Exactly. Nigga. Hey, but we, we got to talk about Biggie and Luke. Oh, that's right. Big. Y- y- y'all had... Yeah, had beef at first. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's definitely no, 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 no beef. No, um, and and yeah, let's just talk about your yeah, relationship. Yeah, big. Oh, that's my dog. Right, right. Big, big me and big. That's my guy. What happened? How, how'd you link up with Big? I mean, you know, uh, you, you pull, shit. Pull, pull big. Pull I brought him down uh-huh. to do a show. Wow. You know, uh, it was Super Bowl weekend. Mm-hmm. And then you know he came. He was like, you know, him, Junior Mafia, and all that. Right. It was like, Big was like, okay, man, I'm doing your pack jam. The TV mm. disco was actually Woo. the big mm. one. Mm. The second one, it was around the corner. And he was like, man, I ain't going to do that motherfucker unless you come. Because Pac uh. Jam here was what we call it was the Apollo South. Oh, you know, definitely. They would go up in there and the artists would go in there and they'd be looking like this at your ass. Like, right. You know, motherfucker, you better get to the song. Right. You know, because we really, no you know, they were the hardest Instead audience. Instead of a sound man, did y'all have a dirty guy like who came out and like he smoked a dirty <laughs> no, and got no, the people no, on the stage? No, the crowd nah. would be booing your uh, ass uh, and oh, throwing oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, it was a rite of passage, wow. man. It was wow. a rite Yeah, so Big wow. was like, yo, I ain't doing that motherfucker unless you, unless you come up in there. Wow. And so me and him, you know, we ended up linking up that weekend and we was mm. friends forever. I mean, he, uh, he would tell me stories about, right. you know, him, his, him being a big fan of Poison Clan. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He, he wow. told me, he was like, man, this fucking JT Money. JT you know, I, 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 you know I, before I got in the business, I got all his shit. So he was like, damn. So, you know, I'm looking at him like, he was like, nah, man, that was my dude. That, that's my dude. And wow. so me and him like, hit it off every time he come down. I go to New York. I would right. hang out with him. Right. And uh, we end up doing a record together. And you wasn't there when he, when he died in LA, right? I was in LA. Yeah. Actually, I was in the studio doing. I was supposed to link up with him. I heard I read me that and, somewhere. Me and uh, me and Snoop Dogg was in the studio. That's doing right. The that's song. what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah. I think when you yeah. did the Breakfast Club. So yeah, yeah when they that. ended up, when wow. they told us about him dead, then you know we were sitting in the studio. And together. I think you said on the Breakfast Club you were supposed to meet with him somewhere. Or, or yeah, we were supposed to go to a, uh, another party. Get it was at a party. We were recording, and uh, and we were supposed to go link up afterward. God, God bless, big man. God bless yeah. Junior Mafia. You know what I'm saying? Um, is, 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 and did you ever meet Tupac? Oh, Pac was my yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, they. Oh. Nah, that was my guy. Let's break down some dude. Yeah, Let's yeah, get into yeah. some. Now, is the bitches involved? Of course, with Tupac. <laughs> Pac was. That was another one of my little sons. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, let's make some noise for Pac being a little son. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Pac would Pac would come down. You know, mm-hmm. you hang out. Pac was like. 
George Jefferson. Did you ever look at George Jefferson on, yeah. on, the, on the Jefferson? Yeah. Yeah. That, that motherfucker just sit in the car and talk, 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 talk. Yeah. I mean, we would be on the road together. We'd see each other. He would be in my room. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting there laying down asleep. This motherfucker still talking. Yeah. Like, God damn. You know, I'd have heard every story there was. Uh, I mean, but that, that was Pac was my dude. That's my nigga. That's what's up. Yeah. So look, let me ask you, because it had to be weird from you. Everybody knew you ran Miami after especially all the turmoil, all the beefs and everybody. Everybody clearly knew that that was your section. But now this East Coast, West Coast war happens, right? right? It's in the middle. You cool with both sides. Yeah. Was it, like, did it ever feel weird to you? Because Miami's a vacation place nope. regardless. Right. Regardless. But now they vacationing and they all got your number. Was there ever an instance where, like, some East Coast dudes was out here and some West Coast dudes text you and said, hey, I mean, I know the text wasn't back then, right, but you right, know right. what I'm saying? Two-way jaw <laughs> or, or whatever. Phone. The brick phone. Yeah, the brick phone. <laughs> the, 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 big, the, tra- the, the real trap phone. Yeah, the yeah, real yeah, trap that, phone. That DJ Khaled was selling. So, so did, was you ever, like, put in a weird space because you, you do, um... <laughs> Miami is a neutral place? Yeah, I mean, no. I nah. mean, what we always told dudes when they would come down here, look at man, you come down here, lead a beef shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so it was, we was on that. If you come down, you know, lead your, your issues. Right. You know, outside that, because we don't need that kind of heat down here. Right. You know, we didn't want no, you know, the police and all right. that coming. All right, hey, look, all we right. didn't want no, the, the hip hop police down here. We right. need none of that kind of shit. Right. So, you know, you know, me working with the police and like, we need that kind of heat. Right. Like, hey, look, no, y'all don't got to worry about that because when they had the how can they be down? And there was beef. Right. There was new, a lot of beef. There. Yeah, yeah, this right. new shit was going to get crazy yeah. and all that. Right. I'm like, yo, don't come down there with there the police. There was a shootout. Heavy D was, there was a shootout that Heavy D was involved. Like, he, he wasn't shooting, but he was there. Now, in your opinion, you both knowing Pac and Big, there's very few people. Right. Who know Pac and Big? There's, there's people who know Pac great, and there's people who know Big a little bit. Right. There's people who know Big a lot. There's people who know Pac a little bit. But you know them both of them. Great. Right. Do you think they could have ever squashed that? Like, oh they, no, yeah, that would have been squashed. Yeah, I, mean, anyway, I, yeah. I mean, on the peep show, I, when Pac got out of jail, I do. I, I, I interviewed I'm, Pac. Mm-hmm. Then I went and interviewed Biggie, and mm-hmm. then through the interviewing process of it, it was more like. I was interviewing them Mediating for the peep show, but I yeah. was like, nigga, chill the fuck out. Wow. You know, do so it. it was more of me having a conversation with them mm. about chill the fuck out. Mm. You two motherfuckers need to make money. This shit is about money. Y'all taking this to, to the fucking extreme because, right. you know, I was in St. Louis doing a show with Big, uh-huh. and Big out there, you know, motherfuckers, is, they wanted Big to diss pop on right. stage. And, like in and, a movie. And they were booing. Right. You know, I'm I'm sitting up there like, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, the mediator of the whole shit, like, uh-huh. and Big wouldn't diss him. So then yeah. I, when I interviewed, uh, when when I interviewed Pop, Pop was just going crazy, you know, right. oh yeah, 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 fuck this girl and did right. this and and did that and all this. And I'm like, so when I interview over, hey, look at man, you need to chill the fuck out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you know, so me and him had, you know, we could talk because right. I know him before he linked up. With mm-hmm. you know, with the Death Row dudes, mm-hmm. I knew him when he was with Digital Underground. Right. You know, so I know this young dude. He, you know, on some Black Power shit. Right. You know, I know where he coming from. So, you know, you ain't on. You, what you, you know, I'm like, yeah. what you change? What, what are you doing? Right. You know, what I'm saying if you on that, you know, on that Black man shit, which is, which is, I know how you. That's how you raise. Right. You always on that. You ain't on no do nothing to other Black man. So, right. you know, we had that conversation. Then, you know, I went to go in, interview Biggie. Big wouldn't say one word about it. Yeah. Big nah. wouldn't talk. Big, you know, I, Big wouldn't say nothing. He was like, nah, that. nah, nah. You know, he just kept it like, uh, uh, kept it like really 100. Mm. So it was, it was they were, they were going to talk. You know, after me, after I had the conversation with both of them, uh-huh. you know, they were going to talk. But then for some reason, so shit you, happened. You knew Pac pre death row. Yeah. And then, uh, what's that? Post. After, what was it? Post, yeah, yeah, post, post death row, right? Well, what, do, do during think, death row, do, 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 which which Pac you related to more? The the Pac uh, before before death yeah. row, the yeah. digital underground. The digital yeah, it's underground. almost like a, it's almost like two different people. The holiday totally, totally right. two totally do, same do, person, two different people though. Totally, he's a Gemini man. Yeah. I, I can relate. I'm a Gemini. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah, it's right. almost like uh, you know a young dude, you know, mm-hmm. hanging out. With some with a crew of people, then you conform mm. it to that crew. 
You know, mm-hmm. that's why I always, you know, when I'm working with kids, I tell kids, don't be no follower. Mm-hmm. You know, in the back right. of my mind, I'm thinking about, you know, them soldiers who did like pop. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to be your own man. You can't right. get caught up in, you know, the shit somebody else trying you, to be. You think Pac was following though in that sense? You you don't think? He, I think he had a plan to get out of that situation or change the trajectory of what he was trying to do. That's well, what everybody says, at least. Well, when you when you when you when you on, on some real black man right. shit, like Brenda got a baby, and then you go over here. No, not not, not that, exactly Brenda. But I mean, he was deep. He was deep. He was on some real black man shit. You know, black power, right. black black this. He was on some deep black man and stuff. Then and, and then, then banging. And then, so now, you get linked up with this crew who on that, on some different shit, then you conform to be like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, I knew him before that. You know, right. this, this young man who just trying to get on, trying to get his music heard, trying to do the right thing. I'm on some black man shit. He was more, he was more deeper than, than public enemy than public wow. enemy. You mm-hmm. feel me? Damn. On that black man shit. Mm-hmm. So then, now, uh, when you go and you link with this crew here, then you kind of conform to that. And then now you got a whole crew of... And you had already had beef with Death Row, so you knew what type of mind state yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, it was, you know, it was, you know, it was like on some, you know, we tough guy shit. So then now right. you got this young guy that's really, you know, just searching for a family. Yeah, a you home, bring man. him in, and before you know it, he conforming to, you know, it's like a... Uh, Become a product of your environment, so he right. became a product of that environment. All right, goddamn, that was deep, man. Just, yeah. Let's make some noise. Before we move on, did that? You ever hung out with Pun as well? Big Pun, yeah, yeah big I did pun. a song with him. Oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We did a song. How, how, how was it hanging out with Pun? That was like one yeah, of my best yeah, friends. Yeah, so Pun, right. no, Pun, Pun, and Joe. I remember, right. you know, when I first met Joe, I, you know, I. Uh-huh. Went to the went to the fucking club in uh, the, the Puerto Rican club. Oh, in the Bronx. Bro, yeah, yeah, I'm half Puerto Rican. Come on, <laughs> yeah. let's go to the story. Let's get to it. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to the club, hang out with Joe and Pun, and mm-hmm. shit. Joe beat the shit out of some motherfucker mm-hmm. in the club. I'm like, uh, this motherfucker is uh, out of control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe just slapped up some motherfucker, That's and then I'm bad. like, what the fuck is this, right? But mm-hmm. uh, but after that, I mean, we end up doing a song together. Yeah. With uh, Pun and and uh, and some of the other guys in the group. Now, now, Luke, you put on practically the whole Miami. If they from Miami and they're artists, they either got put on through you or they got put on through a protege of you. Right. Like, right. How, how does that, like, because what was it? Trick Daddy? Trick Scarred. He's on Scarred. Yeah, I got, uh, yeah, Trick came out of uh, yep. jail and he was staying with me. And right. Pitt, Pitt so was, how, did, how did you discover Pitt these was out artists? out there in the streets, like, uh, running hard. Right. Yeah. How did you discover I, I, yeah, Pitt? I have, yeah. I have my own idea because yeah. I have a story. Because I'm not sure Chico. my story. We have something called uh, drunk facts here. Yeah. Drunk facts. Drunk facts means that we off by either a year or a day or a name. Or oh, 15. Oh, oh, 15. So this is my drunk facts. I have okay. an artist named Garcia. And we did Garcia. a, we did a what, was the, what, what was the club? Remember that club on South Beach? Zen. Zen. Remember Zen? Club Zen. Yeah. I actually did the first hip hop party there. It took me three months to convince mm. the Turkish dudes to do it. Mm. So they did a freestyle battle, and my artist battled Pitt. And my artist won against Pitt. But I, in my mind, you was in the background, and you was like, Pitt's the one. Did you discover him there, or am I completely... Is that drunk facts? No, that, yeah, that's... That's <laughs> <laughs> drunk facts. <laughs> so drunk facts. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm the, debunking the drunk thing, facts. The good thing about drunk facts, you can be like, that's drunk facts, and it means that's right, yeah, and drunk yeah, facts, yeah, it means yeah, you that, know it's fucked up. Right. Yeah. Remember, remember when Pitt had the, the corn red braids, yeah, and, he, yeah, and yeah. He, was, he was rapping like Dragon. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So Pitbull comes that's up to you. That's fam, How do you make... Well, I mean, I was chilling at the crib, you know, and I looked at the... I looked at you know because I know. I, I, hold on, because when Miami people say crib, y'all mean two things. I noticed that no, when I get to Miami. House. You mean or, the house, the and then you also the mean city. the city. Or the city. Y'all yeah. also mean the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you talking about the, the city house. or the house? All right, yeah. 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 Because you know Miami, like you were at the crib. I'm like, all right, cool. I just came to your house. You're like, no, I'm talking about the city. Nah, if they say like, brother oh, for the crib, God. they mean the city. Yeah. If they say I'm at my crib, you at your crib. Y'all been confusing me for years. That's why I was confused just now. I was like, all right, okay, okay, okay. You at the crib, the house. Yeah. Chill at the house. So I mean. Um, you know, again, mm-hmm. I just did this song with, you know, with um, mm. with Pun and all them, mm. you know, and everything. So I'm like, okay, you know, 
you know, New York got Puerto Rican right. uh, rapper right. Fat Joe right. and Big Pun right. and all that, right? Need, so I'm like, I'm life. from Miami. I won't be complete right. if I don't find a Cuban rapper. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I then said, okay. Then at the same time, I'm looking at the fucking census. Mm. And the census says, you know, Latinos right. are the predominant Woo. race in America. Numbers. It's right. a numbers right? game. I'm like, Shit, well, I got to give me a fucking <laughs> Latino yeah, rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right. the, you know, me being the executive, but right. then I'm like still saying I won't be complete right. if I don't find a Cuban artist right. from Miami because yeah. so many Cubans mm -hmm. like my music and mm -hmm. they, you know, Most they definitely. rep me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I'm like, I need to do that. that that'll make Luke Records Shout complete. Shout out to DJ Laz, by the way. Yeah, and so, so I ended up um, going on this mad search looking for him and, and uh, they brought me a a source uh, battle tape. Mm. You know, they were like, they showed me a source battle tape of this guy on there rapping. Mm -hmm. I was like, they were like, this motherfucker from Miami. I was like, I don't want no motherfucker that, that's not from Miami. Right. I want, you know, right. is he Cuban? Yeah, right. from Miami. Yeah. <laughs> right. So then when I looked yeah, at the tape, theory. I liked him. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, go find him and brought him. Y'all did the Lollipop right. song. That's yeah, the they brought him to the... Uh, to the, uh, to, the, to the studio, to the wow. office. And then, uh, you know, I, I'm on that vibe. Right. Like, I have a guy hang out with me for like a month right. before I really sign him up. Because right. I, I, I got to know that, number one, you're original. Right. Yeah, we ain't doing no studio shit. I don't right. get on with that. You're original, you can write your own shit, right. and you got good vibes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand the game. So Tim was a, is a real one, man. Yeah. He's so a real when, one. when I that's that's and, and we got shout out Big Teach as well. That's family oh, Big, yeah. Teach. Big Teach has been so with then, the whole time. Now Trick Daddy is um like one of the most phenomenal uh personalities hip hop has. Yeah. Like his no filter, it seems like like he could just get on. He, yo, he he literally spit on his computer the other day. I don't know if you guys seen that. It's crazy. And he's authentic yeah. Miami. Like he's That's authentic, authentic Miami. And his his. Per, did you notice that with Trick? Because you know he makes great music. We already know that. But his like a personality sometimes is what transcends sends a yeah. person. I mean he, that that that's me as a uh, a record executive mm -hmm. producer. I always look for authentic shit. Mm. Like if you listen to H Town, the guy has an uh. authentic voice. Yep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That if you hear a Trick talking outside in the bushes right. and not knowing who out there, you'll know that's him. Right. You know, all my artists had JT that. Money was the all same them, way, yeah. JT Money, yeah. all of them had that. That was my thing, you mm. know, that I would do what I would be looking for in an artist. But Trick story was similar to the story that you thought was with Pitt. Oh, Trick, yeah. <laughs> Trick was in, I had a, um, a uh, battle contest, like a seven week battle. Right. Whoever lasts the longest and win, I'm going to sign them up to Loop Records. And so that's, Trick ended up winning the contest. Wow. You know, he battled, battled one guy, you know, uh, this kid named Red, beat him, put him on the record before you know it, end the story. Oh, but it, I crazy. mean, his whole thing was, you know, again, you got vibe with me, I'm, we riding, take right. you on the road, which is the same thing I did to Pitt. Yeah, right. you definitely did. You know, did. I take him on the road with me and, and put the ass out on stage and, you know, throw him in the fire, you know, haze motherfuckers. All right. You know, you ain't going to studio unless I haze your ass. All right. You know, that's why they call it, you know, you hear Pitt talking about, oh, yeah, I went to the Luke School of Hard Knocks. Yeah. Yeah, I would really and look, fuck and look, you up. Look where you at now. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean. I've got to describe this hazing. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, what yeah. is hazing like? You, what, hazing, you, like when you're in college. I, like, like, you, like, you, like you, 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 you got to pay your dues, basically. You, you, you got to do you a bunch of shit. You put water in their socks yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, You got to go through some shit. You got to go through some shit. Yo, you got Yeah, I'll be on the radio. I'll do a radio interview and be like, yo, Bring the, the city, bring the best rapper in town. Right. If oh, you wow. if you out battle this motherfucker, I'm kicking his ass off the bus. Wow. And, and, and it's and not just serious. It's not just wow. artists. Keep in mind, like he helped Khaled too, mm. because Khaled was on Mix ninety six. But the you know, like he said before, that's we the underground radio station. Yeah, Mix ninety six. Okay. I was on ninety four point seven. We were right under Mix ninety six at one point in the same mm. building. All right. But we didn't have a like a straight up hip hop show mm. in Miami, mm. and he had his show. Right. Uh, on 99 Jams and you brought Khaled if I'm wrong tell yeah. me you brought you Khaled, Khaled to start doing the mix yeah. let's start make some noise from Luke yeah. playing Khaled all goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically I'm just like why Why hasn't I'm here Luke I'm here, I'm here. Uh, Luke didn't see me though but uh, but, okay. but you gotta give him also credit for Khaled as well Khaled. he definitely helped Khaled yeah. like yeah. Is, is, is there an artist that ever got to a certain place and like you, you was disappointed in though 
Then in what way? Just in 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 like, man, I, th- I thought he would have kept it real. I thought he would have kept in contact with me. I thought he would, you know, like any type of disappointment. Like, well, you know, when I when I listen to Khaled talk, right. he never make mention of the show. What you talking about? He never wow. make. Mention. I mean, we know it in Miami. Yeah, we know you know what it, it is. in Miami. Yeah. But right. if you ever if you ever listen to any interview that he's ever did, right. he never make mention of any of that. That it should be that's like, Butterfuku and you, like yeah, y'all the two. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know him being on the underground, and you know I'm hearing this uh, again. It's a it's right. a discovery thing. It's I'm true. This, guy. this is truth, by the way. Facts. Right. This 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 energetic guy on the radio because he this, was originally from Orlando, or wasn't he from New Orleans, Orlando, and then Miami? Okay. Yeah, he was yeah. he was all over the place trying yeah. to find himself. And you heard him on the underground <laughs> radio station. Mix ninety six was big. Mix ninety six. I heard him on there, and right. then. You know, I you know I wanted to see you know this this kid on the radio. You know, I wanted to see what he looked right. like right. and how he vibing again. So I would go to Madhouse. You know, they yep. had the Madhouse party, and I was mm-hmm. you know just chilling there with Joey and check him out. And then before you know it, when I did the show, because Miami never had a mix show. Yep. On, wow. on the radio. that's true. I said that so, on the Ed Lover interview. I, yeah, I talked so, about this. So wow. when uh. You know, Cedric Hollywood came down from Orlando to take over the radio station. Uh-huh. I was like, we need to do a mix show. And he was like, well, you do it. What year is this, mm-hmm. by the way, just so we can... Shit, I forgot. Like 97, probably. Yeah. 96, 97. So, yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to have a combination of everything. This kid spinning, you know, hip-hop. Then Uncle Al spinning Miami. Uh-huh. Uh, Papa Keith. Yep. And Soul Syndicate spinning... Reggae. You know, uh, reggae, and right. then I would have DJ Irie come in right. and spin pop every now and then. Wait, so wait, all these guys, too? yeah, all these guys, it's only missing DJ EFL. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, let's make some noise for Luke. Yeah. 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 I'm taking my mixtapes to the USA flea market. I want you to finish. I want you to finish. Yeah. This is just crazy. It blew my mind. Yeah, yeah so I, 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 right. I, you know, this is my way of putting them on. Right. You know, so I did the Luke show on the radio every right. Friday. It would come on 99 Jams and it would it be a big, big show. Big. Yeah, right. motherfuckers used to line up around the corner, you right. know, at the station, you know, because I, you know, I played on people's mind, wow. which, you know, which was not hard to do because they right. already know I get bitches naked. Right. If I say, oh, yeah, we live in the studio and everybody right. naked. Right. And, <laughs> and fucking Eminem is right now getting his dick sucked. <laughs> right. You know, and so everybody would bleed that, you know. Right. So, um, you know, all those guys with personalities and, and they were different personalities. So I, I would, you know, the guys at 99 Jams, they wanted me to fire Khaled so many times. It was Get like, he's it. too loud. He's too <laughs> this. He's too that. You know, and, wow. and I would I would actually, they would be like, fire him. And then I'd say, fuck it, I ain't doing the show this week. Uh, uh. So it'd be like, okay, well, we want you. So uh. we got to keep him. Uh. You know, and, and then I would amp him up. You uh. know, like he would... Be this, oh, I'm the baddest DJ in the world. So I'll be uh. like, yo, you the baddest DJ in Miami? Uh. Yeah, I'm the baddest DJ in Miami. Oh, so everybody else is, is bullshit. Oh, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, he would, I, would, uh, uh, I would push him into you shit that, that I know. No, nah, he, yeah. definitely, he definitely did, man. But I when, I really, when, when I really met him, when I, when the first time I met him, right. you know, it's on one of my peep shows. It okay. was He was with... Fat Joe, yeah, because he came mm-hmm. through that. Man. He came to a party. We had a Super Bowl party, mm-hmm. and this young dude, you know, Arab guy, he's right. selling fucking hot phones. Right. You know, that was my first yeah. encounter with him. He got the hot phones. Wait, 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 you know, wait, it was wait, like wait, okay, wait, the bricks. Yeah, and, and shit. I think his his motto oh. at the time was Palestinian oh. terrorists <laughs> dropping bombs on oh. your ass. Let's big up to Uncle Luke for talking about when Khaled had bootleg phones. <laughs> 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 You got boost deals and all that shit now. And Callie, promoting, we waiting for you over here. You chaps. Listen, motherfucker. We knew you when you had bootleg phones, nigga. Come on, nigga. I, yes. I knew you too. He it's sold me one of them shit. It's all motherfucker. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. But, but, you know, at the end of the day, right. I... I, I I'm You're proud like, of him. I'm proud of him. Yeah. You're proud of him. I'm proud of him. I can tell because you know a lot of listeners can't see, but I looked at your face. There's yeah. no hate. No, there no, 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 hate. no, no. Disappointment don't mean hate. No, no, like, no. Like, no, like no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could be... I could be disappointed. Doesn't mean I I I, I hate you right, in right. no way, shape, or form, or fashion. Right? No, I no, I love what he's doing. I love right. the fact that it, you know that he's. I knew he was gonna be. Successful. His drive is uncanny. Right. His, yeah, yeah, yeah. His right. drive is crazy, man. Yeah, right. you could put him in a room and he'll make he'll right. make fucking anything oh, out yeah. of something. You know, Ooh, because nah. he's just that creative. You know what I'm saying? So I I like what he's doing. I'm happy, you know, to see right. that, okay, this young kid who was selling fucking bootleg phones mm. is on the damn TV. So I sit there and be wow. laughing. 
Mm. You know, you're doing you doing right. commercials and shit right, right now. Yeah. You know, but That's it's all. it's a it's a good thing, but you know, the the story right. should be told and right. you know, I'm just pointing it's a part that makes of it story. great. You're it's a story. Yeah. You you have to you have to let young people know right. that I ain't just start up here. Right. You exactly. know, I came from here. Exactly. And these, this is the road this is the path that I took so right. you can yeah. actually it's do the same thing. It's right. a exactly. You know, you give people, you know, you give people, you know, right. hope in their mind that they can do things. It ain't like, start with like Chris Lighty. Chris Lighty used to always tell me, he used to be like, I, I, I would complain about something like, he goes like, I got this flight, you'll go pick up fucking 15, 18,000. Like, yo, they ain't have first class. He used to be like, I used to hold kicker Priest crates. I mean, uh, kid in plays crates. Go in there and get your fucking, and like, yeah, it's like remembering your beginning makes you better. Makes you better. It makes you better. Oh, so yeah. I, oh, yeah. I wanted, but that's the only like person that you ever like felt this disappointed at like a, a little bit. That's like, that's it. Just a little bit. Okay. I mean, uh, now, I can see. Look at your face. You ain't hating at all. Yeah, I, I but, can tell. But I, most, no, no, most of like, most you, of you was you was you was one hundred percent. Yeah, most face. of the artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, I was uh, a little disappointed with Two Live Crew. I was a little disappointed with. Will yeah, there ever be a time. reunion? Will there ever be a real reunion? Because y'all did a reunion in 2014 in Club Live, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought y'all was back together yeah. from there. They, they, I mean, those guys are real, real, real I talk confused. to BB all the time. I was uh -huh. like, yo, BB, we need to have them all together. And it's yeah, like, and I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I mean, I love BB. I, <laughs> right, I raised BB, but right. I think BB is taking, drugs? you know. No, I'm fucking yeah. Yeah. Did you say drugs? Yeah, I'm fucking I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to. I, was, I, was, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry. You know, I, BB's my man too. Yeah, so. I, I love BB to death right. as a son. Bad boy. You know, but exactly. Good but pops. BB taking that money from over there. That's like taking money from Hitler. Whoa. In my opinion. From over where? Over from where? Uh, the little Joe guy. Oh, uh, oh. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't know about little Joe. Yeah, you don't that's do not that. The other that's 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 going back. Oh. Yeah, BB. You know. You know. Being. A, you know. I'm like. If you're that desperate, you can. So little Joe's still involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys signed up to him. Oh shit! Oh. That's the original. All those guys, all those guys, all those guys had have tried to go bankruptcy, and then he went and bought them in bankruptcy. He owns yeah. all of them, so they can't do a reunion without going through him, asking him. And so for BB to be working for them, it's. Straight just, bullshit. Just because he don't understand and the listeners ain't even understand. Little right. Joe, was they the distributors originally of, of, no. of the record? Not at all. So how no. do they how do they own anything? Well, in my opinion, he stole the catalog. That's but he didn't, buy, he didn't outright buy it. No, 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 no. Wow. But for BB wow. to be working for them, you know, that's not cool at all. Wow, I, did, I had no idea. So it's no beef with them. It's just beef with the guy that... that well, yeah, I mean, when you let some guy... Could, I, Control uh, you. I mean, it don't uh, matter with me. I mean, I'm uh, 20 years uh, not uh, doing shows with them. I mean, they, uh, you know, if you a nigga that let a motherfucker control you, uh, you use a pussy ass nigga. Uh, Simple as that. Uh, you know, uh, and let some dude who don't matter control how you. How old is dude over there? I, is I little Joe a person or is just a late but come? No, no, it's a, a little, uh, <laughs> a little white ass dude, guy. A little ass Joe. About this big, yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? So if you got dudes that control you like that to the point where they tell you you can't. You know, go and do right. something for your fans and all that. That's a whole nother movie. Wow. Wow. Damn. It took a weird I'm twist. I'm disappointed right now, man. It took a weird Because um, when I was, uh, when, I, when, when, you know, people were requiring, because at first, you know, they, they, they started saying two live crew. And then I guess people, you know, we've only been doing this five months, right? Correct. Right, right. Six, we're going into our going six months. Going into six yeah. months, we got the number one podcast. Let's make some noise for us. We still yeah. 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 And then I started to notice, like, the, when the fans knew, the fans is like, no, just go with Uncle Luke. Just get Uncle Luke. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's not going to happen. The reunion is not going to happen. I had no Which, idea. We tried. We actually had yeah. aspirations of getting all y'all together. Oh, right. yeah. And then, yeah. and then, yeah, that didn't happen. No. Nah. It was never going to happen. That's all. I mean, that's a whole movie. Yeah. In itself. It's, it's, a, I mean, you know, the dudes are good dudes, but again, when, when you're owned by this guy, when this guy paying all your bills and shit and he got you handcuffed and... You're almost like a slave, in my opinion. Right. You know, they pretty much got to do what dudes say do. Wow, that's crazy. Now, now, uh, now uh, Uncle Lou, this is a, a problem that I've, I've had in the past. And what I mean by that is I don't kind of like the respect of these young artists. I've been out since 1997. And there's been a couple of artists that just sampled my records. 
and they'll clear it through the proper things, or or they won't clear it through the but proper things. But they ain't calling things. you. Up. He already know what yeah, I'm going know, through. He, he already know what I'm going through because now I'm considered like an OG. Like they right, tell right, me right, an OG right. now. And the thing about it is, if I touch, you know, a Curtis Blow record, or I touch, like we come from the era of call you and listen. I'm doing this over. I'm sampling it because we all of the same nature. Right. Nowadays, motherfuckers will just take your record, loop it, put it on iTunes, and by the time, even if you have a problem with it. It's like so big, it makes you, it makes you look like, oh, you're mad because this record is a success. No, I'm mad because the proper respect wasn't handed to me. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. I don't even care about the finances. I just care about, like, if I made a record, like, I got a record called Sometimes. It's about my father. The he died. Record, yeah. He Great died. Record. So it's about Pun and my father. And I literally made that record crying. Right. And some of these artists take this record and be like, Sometimes I want. And they, they changed the whole concept from right, this shit. Sometimes right, right. I want to fuck the bitch. Yeah. And so, yeah. and sometimes but are you, are you mad at every artist? or even, I'm mad at I'm mad like at Like even the, the young kid in his room redoing it. Yeah, I'm mad at him too. <laughs> <laughs> you mad without yeah. calling. Without calling me because... No. Yeah, I don't call you. No, I'm <laughs> saying, <laughs> reach out. Dude, it's, 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 it's <laughs> certain way. <laughs> because certain records, certain records mean too much to me to let you fuck with it. Like if I don't know you... Like I might not let you. I, you could be. You could be a dude I met before. So you won't take it as paying homage to you. If it's nah, a kid, they can't get a hold of you. Sometimes it's not paying homage. Sometimes it's not. Like what Drake just did with Akinelli shit. I I 100 believe that that was paying homage. But that's a different level. The, the the kid in his room that's rapping over your beat. No, but he needs to learn though. The How's kid he gonna is, get a hold of you though? The, 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 Twitter. Twitter. Everybody Twitter. get a hold of me. But the thing is this. The thing is this. People need to learn. People need to learn that. There was a there was a world that existed before you. If we just allow a person to just come and just do some too loud cool shit and a nigga say, like, he say, he say, me so horn, and they think they invented that. Right, right. That shit is a problem. Right, to without me. history, there's no yeah. future, like, man. Like, I feel like people I feel like I feel like like we ain't trying to sue you artists. We ain't trying to but just come holla at me. Get the proper respect so I ain't never gotta say something some slick. Courtesies, what you you want. know what I'm saying? I ain't never gotta say something slick, but how, how do you feel about that? Cause we, we went in. We, we, we've been going now, in on this I episode. Mean, I mean, I, I clearly understand what you mean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, when, you know, when the guys did the uh -huh. pop that song. Okay, I, I totally forgot about French that. Montana? French Montana? French yeah, Montana, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, hey, you know, motherfuckers did pop that. Mm -hmm. Never called me up. Mm. You know, they actually called me to do a video, but they never the let video. me. The video, okay. They never let me hear the song. Oh. It was like, yo, we're doing a video. We want you to... Come and be in the video, and right. I was like, well, "What song you been? What song you doing?" <laughs> right. They never let me hear the the song. Right. It was like, "Come be in the video." We, you know, the song right. is a big secret. Right. You know, so I don't know whether it was a surprise, surprise or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or, you know, I never got deep into you the conversation. The right. Right. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Nobody right. never really called up yeah, and no. say, "Yo, Luke, we're gonna do, uh, you right. know, we're gonna take your voice and right. put your voice on this song and." Right. We're gonna put this shit out. So, you know, so I said something about it. Right. You know, yeah, down those idea. lines. Right. And then it became, you know, almost it, like. You look like you the know, old old hater when, in all yeah, actuality, yeah. you're the young man. You, you're in the young man's game. Young man, show me respect. Yeah, and yeah. Ain't, you ain't gonna be none of this. Exactly. But, and, and, and that, so I, I clearly understand what you, what you, what right. you mean by that. Right. I mean, but a lot of these guys just don't know the history. Mm hmm. And, they, you know, if they sit back for one second and say, okay, if I'm making hit records, then if I'm going to be in the game for this amount of time, there's going to be some more young guys after, yep. after me. Do I, how would I feel if they take my shit right. and start rapping my shit? Because, yeah, it's going to get old. Keep right. living. Right. You exactly. feel me? You exactly. are going to get you. You are going right. to get old in the game. Right. And a young motherfucker going to come and they're going to take your shit. How would you feel when they take your song yeah, and start, it. you know, rapping and using your hook and making that shit uh, a big song? There's differences, though. There's differences, though, because that's an official single. I seen single. the artist. Just did my record over. Seen him in MTV, and he gave me the, what up? I wanted to kill this nigga, my nigga. <laughs> but we was in MTV offices, and people called me, like, because he was coming up. He ain't popping no more. I won't say his name. So... 
He was coming up. It's Drink Champ. Say his name. No, 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 no. no. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Because he's over. If he was popping, I would say his name. MC over. But, you know, MC over. That nigga. And when I seen him, when I, when I, when I realized he, he not only, he didn't even recognize me. So you just doing records. There's no respect to that. I can't respect that. New, now, I'm not a hater. I'm not fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. But at the same token, I was raised with respect. My moms told me to pull out a chair for a woman. Right. My moms told me to hold the door. My moms told my moms taught me manners. So I don't think hip hop. But that's why he's in the business right now. You know what I'm saying? For the guys, real. when you really think about it, the guys right. who are still in the business mm-hmm. right now, the ones who have longevity, they have some sense of the history of hip hop. Right. The, 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 the the one hit wonders. Right. Yep. Yeah, they, they go come. and they come all day they because come. they don't understand the history mm. and they ain't trying to learn the history. Mm. You know, if you know the history, you'll be around. I mean, right. Jay had been around right. 100 years exactly. and still making hit records. Thank I mean, you for telling us Jay Z's 100. Uh, Thank exactly. You. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all, uh, you know, all those guys, I mean, Wayne right. and all them dudes. Right. Yep. You know, yeah, them you dudes have to know, know the history. Yeah. The yeah. history. Yeah. If you don't know the history right. and you sitting there and when you make a statement like that, everybody, right. oh, oh, man, he tripping and all that. No, no, no. If you don't pay homage like that, right. you'll be in in this business and out real quick. But, but y'all talking to uh-huh. you specifically? Are you okay. talking about two different things? There's the yeah, artist yeah. that puts out a single and he just jacks your beat and takes the record and puts out officially. Because yeah, I'm, I'm a mixtape DJ, like so I'm 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 saying there's the kid that anybody you could be you right. rhymed on other people's beats on yeah. my mixtapes. That's a fact. It's not the same thing. Freestyle, you got to. No, a totally no, no, no. Are you talking about take yeah. a single? Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, that's so much. No, no, yeah. I, we I'm need to define about, that. I'm yeah. about redo your record. Yeah, yeah. I ain't talking about your album. Free, right, I have right. no, no problem. No, that's with crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I have no problem with a person freestyling on my. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You fucking my mixtape career. I mean, I don't do it no more. No, 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 that's okay. Yeah, but when you take my shit. Throw it out, sell it, make a profit, no, and then different. try that's to clear different. it that's off different. of me. Like yeah. I, I it, it ain't. And the thing about it is, like, money ain't everything. So most people could come back and offer you some money, right? Right. And it's like, damn. I and dude, knowing that you don't, I would have did it for Maybe free. you don't own that beat because of whatever. But you own something shit, as an artist. But they you owe own you, something. yes, as an individual, as an artist. Right. No, I. They get should that. pay homage to you. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want. Yeah, yeah, I want hey, more. My shit was worse than that. My shit was more like the first when I really heard about what it was. It was a fucking ad. <laughs> Luke, uh, Uncle Luke, uh, uh, Rick Ross, and French Montana. I ain't know who the fuck French Montana was. <laughs> who in the fuck is French Montana? <laughs> right? And they got a song. Who you know, know and I, I heard the song. I was like, this motherfucker song hot than a motherfucker. <laughs> but who the fuck is French Montana? <laughs> right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. you know, y'all, that's yeah, a, y'all right. made a nigga off right. of my song. <laughs> it was a hot song, too. It was a hot ass song. It was a hot ass song. Hot hot ass song. Hot hot song. Hot yeah. You know, hey, yeah. you know, but I, I, you know, again, right. you know that that you know people blew it up. Right. Luke mad at French Montana. Yeah. He ready to get this motherfucker? I'm like, nah, nah that's a regular I, shit. I, I yeah, we ended up coming. doing a show yeah. for right. BT Awards and all that. And Yo, you just did a show recently with DMX and Onyx and John yeah, yeah, yeah. My manager was out there. Luke, you still out here? You still out here? Shit, right? man, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm performing. I, I have to tell him to stop. Ah. Yeah, no, I, I love performing. You love performing. I love it. Yeah, it's like a hobby to me. Man. I like going, you know, and, and you know, I don't do that kind of music where I just walk up and down the stage and right. Right. smoke a joint and, and be, so you know, talking shit. So are you still bringing strippers with you or no? They still oh, no, we are regular around? dancers. Re- re- oh, excuse me, yeah. that's a difference? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. no, that's uh, AKA strippers, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Regular yeah. dancers is AKA strippers. When they graduate, they're stri- uh, strippers yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, no, no, dancers. No, they, when they graduate, they dancers. They start, out, dances. Yeah. They start yeah. out as strippers and they end up as dancers? <laughs> how, how does it go? Or oh, they start out as dancers? No, nowadays they just start out as strippers. Nowadays. But, yeah, yeah. But you got different. sophisticated dance. It's a, yeah, yeah. Dancing yeah. ass okay. strippers. Dance, let's make some noise for the dancing ass strippers. We're not ending it, but I just want to thank you and made an interview because you know why? I, I single handedly think that, you know, oh my God, Bacardi, Santiago, my last name. I'm sorry, I just saw that. I'm sorry. <laughs> just throwing it out there. But I single handedly. See, you hold Miami down. When Miami had problems with anybody, you stepped up. You wasn't, you wasn't holding your tongue. You, 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 you shape and mold what Miami is now. And I have to thank you as a person that now lives in Miami, born and raised in New York, but 
I, 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 this is my second home. I've been out here. This is where the show is being taped. And I, we wanted to personally, I was going to say I, but I, we wanted to personally and just invite you here, let you know that this is your home. We got 1.2 hey, million people listening to us. 1.2 yeah. million. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, like, like, two. Like, two. We got like two a- people. Average a million two. a week. Average, two. average. I, I was going to say like two or three people. Give or like, take you know a hundred thousand. <laughs> but listen, we, we, so we're at the crib. At the crib, we at the crib, right at the whichever crib. way they want to use it, and we want you to know that you can come here all the time. But continuing moving on, where do you see Miami going to as far as the music scene goes? What's as the next as, step? As, as far as the music scene, I mean, you know, it's 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 tough around here because radio mm. stations don't support the local yep. artists. Mm. Absolutely, you know true. what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, That's true. The underground ain't as powerful as is it. As, as it, it was be. as it used to be. The pirates mm. ain't as powerful. Yeah. The big saves don't mean nothing mm. no more. You know, you got you know, I mean the DJs on South Beach, mm. you know, no yep. disrespect to none of them. They ain't mm. really playing no Miami music. Mm. Yep. You know, so so at the same time, you know, you got clubs around. It, it's a totally different scene. You know, right. if you you know, like I'm I'm out, you know, in the hood all the time, you know, at the parks and everything and, and the DJs play totally different music. At the what you it's, it's similar it's the same thing. You know, like when I was, mm-hmm. when I came up, you know, the difference is I was able to take, you know, songs like Peter Bun and Jelly and right. because I was nationally known, I put it out, they become nationally known. Right. You know, and that same beat that's going on around here. So you don't have record companies in Miami that may have a national appeal. Mm-hmm. They're not going to get those artists and put them on and let people hear real Miami music. Right. You know, I could be doing, I could be selling platinum H Town R and B album, but then I'll go find a trick daddy, right. and he'll be spitting Miami slang. Mm-hmm. You, you feel me? And right. he'll do his song, and I'll then do me. I'm introducing the rest of the world to him. Right. You don't have these artists, you know, that are from here doing that. Right. You know, the I'm guys who are on, okay. the dudes who on. Right. They ain't doing that. And then right, right. Miami does not have a sound anymore because right. everybody, and that's the biggest problem, and I tell a lot of these young dudes, you know, whether you like it or not, we had boom, chat, boom, chat, the boom, bass. chat. The you bass. know what I'm saying? We had, and it, it identified we had, y'all. You exactly. knew that was Miami. And maybe. then we had our slang right. because slang, to yeah. me, hip-hop is right. slang. Right. You know, yep. what these niggas, you know, like you right. lost when you said right. the crib. Right. You know, uh, right. uh, Red Man lost when he said, what's up, dog? What's, you know, right. yeah, so yeah, that's dog. what the niggas yeah, saying yeah, yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and dog. then you'll be like, what these niggas talking about, cuz and blood and all that shit. So then you heard slain through the music. Right. Right now, you know, the, the artists that are coming out of Miami, you don't hear Miami slain. What, what did you think about Mother Superior? Because I'm, I'm, that's the era I'm from. I'm with yeah. that group. What did you think about her? Do you remember well, Mother Superior? Uh, well, she wasn't uh, getting naked. You ain't give a fuck. Let's keep it real. Make some noise. <laughs> make, no, 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 no. That's my home. Take it. She, they called Sorry. her the, the 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 female Nas, and she was from Miami. She rep Miami. She was just on some lyrical shit. Luke what don't even right. remember? Look at Luke. See, but the, 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 Luke the thing, don't remember. But we were real. Bro. Know, Bobby, we, we, got mad, we got mad at her when she moved to to New York when mm. she got her deal with Island. Right. You know? Right. I mean, again, when you the the question becomes, and I try and tell these young dudes around here, you can't. You got to have a sound. Mm. Atlanta got a sound. New York got a sound. Mm. California got a sound. And right now, Miami don't have a sound anymore. On top of it, you ain't got guys putting guys on. Mm. So everybody trying to sound like fucking Atlanta. Mm -hmm, You know, and and when you, you know, nothing you saying lyrically ain't really, you know, I don't understand what you're saying because I'm with kids every day. You know, I coach high school football, so I'm driving them home and they having a whole conversation. I'm really... I'm hearing the New conversation slang, and they right. slang is totally different. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They call a, a fat girl a pepper. You know, so <laughs> I ain't that. heard we, you know, shit. That. <laughs> Again, you know, so just use the word like that. You know, uh-huh. it, when, I, when, I, when I'm doing records, that, that'll be a whole song. Right, right. straight up. You feel yeah. me? That bitch you know, <laughs> it, it, it will be big girls and be peppers. Yeah. You know, that'll be in the lyrical content right. of a song and then you will get the song in Chicago, Atlanta, right. and you know or somewhere, they about and they be like, "What the fuck? Right. You know what? The, what the fuck is a pebble? This it, nigga keeps saying it's pebble. like jit. Like y'all always use yeah, we jit. Say yeah. jit. We say y'all jizz. use jit like as if the whole world 
No, no, yeah, yeah, you were like my son, like I told you, I moved my so my son comes in the other day and he's calling his little brothers a jit. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I come around these guys and they start using it. And I'm like, I have to be careful. Like, what the fuck is my son calling my son? Exactly. Like, they just call him a younger dude. But like, and, that, and to me, that, and to yeah. me, that's always been hip hop. Right. It was, yeah. it was, it was the ghetto right. blues. Mm. You know what you talking about over here? You right. know when Big was making his songs? Oh right. shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, right. them dudes in Atlanta making their song. Mm. Oh, okay, oh, that's, you know. So it was more intriguing as to what they vibing and what they talking about right. as well as the slain on top of it. So now when you have the, the guys coming from Miami or oh, from Miami, but you sound like pop, right. that ain't Miami. Right. So mm. technically I'm like, it's not no Miami artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? When when right. when when uh trick they say you don't know now nigga, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. That's some Miami shit. Right. Yeah, you know? Miami, so it, Trick is like the Jay-Z of Miami. Yeah. Mm. Cuz he's lyrical and people don't give him that credit, but he's I, lyrical I, I from say Miami, Ross motherfucker. Ross will be the Jay-Z of Miami. No, no, I'm telling you before that is oh, before Trick. That. Okay, okay. It's okay. Trick. Trick is the Jay-Z of Miami. He's okay. lyrical yeah. to us. Okay. So nobody is connecting with Miami. You, you know what I'm saying? None of the none of the artists because these artists these young guys are really lost. I mean, like, I, I'll go to the radio station and fucking go in on the PD and the MD. Why you ain't playing the music from Miami? Uh, and uh-huh. they'll be like, their business ain't right, Luke. Their business ain't right. Uh-huh. You know, and then I'll nah, go. They business and then ain't they'll right. be like, <laughs> and then I'll listen to a song, you know, because everybody get mad. Luke, man, you, you need to go and step down on these motherfuckers when uh-huh. I go in there. Then I listen to their shit, I'm like, what the fuck is this? The shit that they are playing? Or yeah, the, the, the shit that they have. Oh, okay. You know, and then they'll be like, yo, this, these are the songs right here. I'll be like, this ain't no fucking Miami song. These motherfuckers mm. trying to sound like another motherfucker mm. on the same beat. On the you same beat. You know what I'm saying? Beat. So I'm, I'm really, it's I'm almost like reggae up. Dome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. fucked up when, right. it, when it comes to music. I'm real, right. real anal. I don't right. like studios. Right. I go in there, my attention span is real short. Right. The shit ain't right. I ain't fucking with it, you know, so when I hear it in the first one minute, I be like, y'all, y'all motherfuckers trying to sound like somebody else. Start sounding like Miami. Mm. You know, a lot of lot of lot of music ain't like that. You got a couple of young guys around here. That's Denzel big. Curry is dope. From from yeah. Carroll City. So yeah, you got Kodak a couple black too. Kodak. No, Kodak, 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 Kodak Black. Kodak Black, Kodak black is Kodak dope. Black. Yeah, when you hear when you hear dudes <laughs> spitting you know, right. Miami, slang. Yeah. Right. And they I think it's a slang, man. Delivering. More it's more the slang than anything, and they ain't delivering like some guy from Atlanta. It's, it's the slang, right. it's the neighborhood, it's the look, and it's, it's the, the beat. aura, it's all that. The beat. Yeah, it's the you know fucking what I'm beat. I mean, when, when I put out Portugal in, right. you know, which is the first. Southern, you know, goddamn Southern uh, NWA. That's uh, a Southern uh, NWA. A uh, hardcore group. Uh-huh. You know, well after uh, Dance All Night. Yeah, they got you know they got uh, Shake What Your Mama Gave. You. Right. But then the next song, nah, they had some hardcore like, ass records. Like, you know, hey, life's a bitch, so I married one. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. these motherfuckers got lyrics, so right. you can't do it. You know, with the sound, they use right. the sound. It slowed it down. You right. know, it was the same beat, but then they sped it up whenever they needed to speed it up. Uh-huh. But these dudes want to get away from But you that, did so see the value in society as well, which yeah. when, when he finally came out, I know he came through New York, he did rep Miami. Right. And then and even the dudes from Home Team, I mean, uh, from Poison Clan did Home Team. Yeah. Which they didn't sound necessarily Miami, but for us cats that were into that, we were like, they're in Miami. Yeah. They're repping yeah. the sound. They, that, they were, they're Miami. They were from New York. But then they rep the, with the beat. Right. I mean, uh, JT Money was in that group. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? He was the Miami guy that was in the group, and then he left out. Then we did a solo album Cause, on him. Because a kid like me, I was like, I'm going to a party, and, and bass music is a part of my life, reggae music is a part of my life, but I'm a hip-hop kid too. So I'm looking at home team society, Mother Superior, at least they speak in my language in my Right, right. And right. that's what I was looking for. Right, right. Mm. I like the Miami connection. God damn it. Okay. Good luck. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Well, let me ask you. I have different periods of hip hop. Was my my my, my I'm gonna tell you my favorite uh year in hip hop had to be 1998. What was what, what, what was your favorite year? Like if you had to pinpoint oh, one year. Shit. I don't know. I I've been so many years. So, got all of them is your favorite. So I mean, so I mean, just give me one. I had all kind of crazy years. You, you yeah, name it. I mean, orgies have you had? We're gonna get to that. <laughs> orgies. We're gonna get to that. But let's get to your favorite year first. Favorite year? I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, 
I don't know, 99 or something. I don't, I don't 99? know. 99? had a better year after yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Make some noise for me. God damn it. Had some wild ass years. Yeah. So, how many orgies have you had? Really? <laughs> like, if you could oh, count all. I thought you said this was a family show. No, I was oh, lying. Definitely not no, a family no, 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 show. Not a family show. <laughs> <laughs> we call it Drink Chat. This is what we use families. We use families on the show. Orgies? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know how many orgies I had. I don't know. I'm, I don't you, know. You can't count. I don't know. So how did how did like I right, are you a horny nigga? Is that what's going on? Like how did you start thinking I'm just have mad bitches around me? I I I got my title from uh, T K Kirkland. I'm a pussyologist, three steps higher than a gynecologist. Ooh. Okay, that was hard. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> Kirkland, you're not talking about the, the pimp, the comedian. Right? Oh, the I comedian. That's what I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. TK Kirkland said, "Look, you're Sound a pussy. Like a just Sound like a pimp to me." The guy cops is how we right. tell people that. Now, how many rappers came to you and said, "Look, Gamate, this is Eddie the Ass Eater right there." Right? Just, just Eddie so you know. the Ass Eater. He's, he's, all he, if you were the brother chicks, he would. If Gloria Valencia was ass. here right now, he'd yeah, be the right ass. ass. Yeah, you discovered Gloria Valencia. But y'all, yeah, y'all should have. They had some girls in here. I know, man. We be fucked up. We was trying. Yeah, we was trying to. Yeah, we, 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 we trying to get liquor. For Uncle Luke, we, man. we was trying to get a bartender, <laughs> but we, we most importantly we wanted you to be comfortable with liquor because this is some hip hop. No, shit. no, it was supposed to be it's girls. It's some hip hop. I'm be comfortable around girls. I you know, got me the fuck man. Fuck we don't fuck with girls. I thought you was married. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be. I was gonna say that when the when the interview was over. We should have got cocos or roller or something. Listen, listen. I did. I said, take one. We should have got to take one. I'm married, right? I'm married. You've been married longer than me, but um. How do, do your wife ever look at your old videos and just look at you and discuss? <laughs> nah, 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 she don't. Listen. She don't. She be like, she would, so she don't even bring it up. She accepts nah. it. Yeah. That's Let me tell you. I mean, my whole thing. I yeah. mean, back back in my wild days, uh -huh. you know, I always was real, real, real picky with chicks. Mm. You know, so everybody always thought, okay, look, fucking all these girls, mm. but I was real, real, real picky. Like you, you, you yeah, cracked Tip Trail, would, right? Tip yeah. Trail was with you before Nelly, right? Like no. he was down with your crew. No, 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 no like that. Oh, um, what's no. the other chick? Making shit up. Man. No, um, what's the other chick? Um, Freaky Red. Freaky Red. Yeah, yeah. Freaky Red. red. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my point. I was a stripper nigga at one point. Don't tell yeah. me I'm not. <laughs> like, I know Freaky Red and Tip Trail. All right, yeah. a little bit. A little bit. Right there. Yeah. Before my wife, I knew him. Before my wife. Let me be clear. Hold on. Let me Before throw the, your way, wife. the way I just said that, you sounded crazy. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, you're in trouble. So, so uh, and, and now. So you're gonna get the same question asked to, to you when you get home. Absolutely. But now, listen. Where's your video? No, no, no. no you no. know all these strippers. No, but she and shit. did see. She did. <laughs> she did say some shit that looked at me like, for real. <laughs> like yo. A but movie? I now nowadays, look, a girls will go on Instagram. They will, uh, you know, be half naked, whatever, whatever. And they get all these followers. Yeah. And that's how people know who the bitches is in the town to fuck with. When y'all was going out of town, how did y'all know where to find the back? Because you brung your bitches with you from Miami? Like when y'all was on tour like that? Or, I would, I would or bring you, my girls. Uh-huh. I would bring my girls and I would pick up girls in every city. Oh, my God. Let's make some noise for Luke being a real pet. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Lou. But you have to get your hands dirty. You gotta get your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning the bitch. What does that mean? The I'm girl sorry. and any anybody that was on there, you gotta get their hands dirty. And that means face down. Ass, yeah, ass, they, they ass, would have to, you know, ass, they would have to go through something. I mean, freaking red and all them be looking at the motherfuckers like, mm. okay, and you know the girls would right. actually haze the girls. Right. Let's make some noise for 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 Lou. Luke, you live you lived every real nigga's life, and what I mean by that, every what every real nigga would want to be in life, meaning you did what you wanted to do, when you wanted to do it, how you wanted to do it, mm -hmm. you fought the system, you won, crazy, you got married, and now you teaching kids. That's what every real gangster yeah. nigga want to do. Yeah. I'm just being honest. The only difference between you is some of the other gangsters they become a preacher. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, they yeah, last. Yeah. That's they last. The last. No, he, he, did right, the right he did, he did the right way. He did the right way. So how did you get into teaching kids? How did that like you know? Well, I mean, when I first got my check, I started my youth program. This is like Your I, first first check. My first check. Wow. You know, I, I, part of the check went to buy my mom a house, and mm. and uh, and the other part of it went to start my youth program, Living mm. City Opulence. Wow. Uh, this wow. I like twenty six year. 
Wow. You know, uh, with, with you know, with the program. And for those that don't know, Liberty City is a very, very real place. Continue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and like I say, you know, we got some great kids that came out of the program. In Did you go to Liberty City because you felt that they needed it the most? That's because, where I'm from. That's where he's from. Uh, okay, yeah, right, cool, yeah, that's cool. Where I'm from. Now, because I know you from the whole Miami. I know, like you could have went to anywhere in the whole Miami. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm that's literally. where you're from. I'm and, city. Right, I'm cool, city. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. cool. I ain't from um, all the Trick from Liberty City too, right? Who? Trick from Liberty City too, uh, he, right? I think Richmond Heights. I Trick was, from down south. He's from okay. the Heights, man. Yeah, Trina from down south. I don't know, but I know Trick. He goes all around, but yeah, Trina Ross from Carroll City. Yeah, Carroll City. Yeah. Um, gunplay. From Carroll City, Miramar. Yep. Carroll City, yep. All right. Pitbull is from Hylia. No, you know, not at all. Westchester, Westchester or Little Havana? You Westchester, yeah. New York? No, Westchester, Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the locks from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing. I knew what you're talking about. I'm fucking with you. So, uh, have any of your kids ever, like, not your kids, not your physical kids, but you know, you coach, have they ever came to you and said, Lou? I'm trying, you know, get it popping. Can you hook me up? <laughs> <laughs> no, or, or no, you coach really. Luke. Yeah, I'm coach Luke. They coach. They, they. If you call me Luke, uh, right. uh, Uncle Luke or something, your ass would be rolling 400 yards. <laughs> and, and, and now, how many people? Because I I seen the, uh, a special, I believe, on MTV or something. Uh, they was naming all the kids that you know made it from from your program. Right. How, how proud are you of that moment? Oh, I'm very proud. I mean, right. that's 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 the whole point of the program. Mm. You know the. <laughs> <laughs> to go and save lives. Right. You know, uh, a lot of people talk about it and, you know, and they say, oh, I'm doing this. Right. But until you physically right. are out there every day right. with them, you know, and you're seeing the little ones right. grow up to be grown people, you know, I, I, I walk through the airport. Right. I see some of the kids, you know, hey, right. hey, hey walk pride. You right. know what I'm saying? That they, right. they worked. Now they, they're working and they came through the program. You know, right. I, you know, you see someone in the NFL. You know, you know, right. tomorrow night, right. two of our kids will be starting running backs for Cleveland Browns and Atlanta Falcons. Wow. Let's wow. make some noise you know? for that. Yeah. 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 And, and, and mind you, that in his book, I know you talked about that back in the days there was no leagues like that. No, it wasn't no leagues. And you basically helped create that. Yeah, I mean, because I, I was, uh, you know, I lived in Liberty City, and because I was a good football player, I ended up. Going to Miami Beach, playing for, mm -hmm. you know, the Optimus over there in Beach High. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, that kid being on the bus every every, uh, every day, coming home down this street right here, 79th Street, mm -hmm. uh, 11 o'clock at night. So I was mm -hmm. like, you know, if I ever make two cents over my lunch money, I'll start a program wow. where kids don't have to, you know, go through that. Uh, or riding on a bus and getting home 11 o'clock at night, they can be able to go home and be able to get the proper education that they need. All right, that, that's beautiful, my God. Right, now let me ask you, Luke. You just come across as a person. You don't use navigation in Miami. You know navigation? It. Yeah, in Miami. No, he knows yeah. Miami. Like, like I ain't gonna lie. Head. Like you just like look like head. you yeah. just look like you know the whole Miami. Every every, every now and then I use it. Every, but not yeah, in Miami. Duck off shit. In Miami too? Yeah, it's yeah. some duck off shit. Okay, but you seen this city literally built this up. You seen when yeah. you seen when cocaine came to this motherfucker. Yeah, Keep cocaine, it real. cowboys, all that. Yeah. You seen that? Like yeah, look yeah, at the yeah. way Wynwood changed. That shit's been crazy. Yeah, I'm still trying when to. DJ figure Raw that was back in the days. That shit was not the way it looked like right now. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah, that's just right. crazy. Cause I'm like, that's overtime. You motherfuckers still overtime or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm still trying to figure it oh, out. Oh, Winwood is overtime. Oh, 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 no, no, Winwood, the Puerto Rican section. The Puerto Rican section. Don't, 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 don't forget the Puerto Rican section. Nah, leave, don't forget. Yeah, Winwood was out. this small. But for us yeah. Cubans, we were surprised about the Puerto Rican section. That yeah, shit was like an oasis for them. Yeah, Winwood was this small. All of a sudden, that motherfucker is this big. Yeah, I'm like, okay, what part of overtime did you motherfuckers steal? You know, it's like, okay, all right, and then. The mosquitoes came. And I'm They're like, fucking it up right now. I'm like, yeah, motherfuckers. God don't like ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers stole overtime. And God just sent in the motherfucking mosquitoes to get y'all ass. Was it you? I said, yo, let's go to uh, Winwood and have drinks. He's like, no. Nope. Zika. 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 I was like, oh, shit, all right. I already know what Zika is. Like, oh, I yeah. thought it was a chick. I was like, all right, all right I don't want to fuck with her yeah, either. Zika. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sprayed that motherfucker with yeah, some yeah, other I, I see shit. that on the yeah. news. They after. fucking up people with that shit. Hey, right. I'm like, I'm like, hold on. On. Where the fuck did this right. shit pop up at? Right. You know, you got Winwood, Midtown, all that shit was overtime. Right. Now, Ross, in, in, in Ross beginning of career, um, did, did you have anything to do with that? Because that was Slip and Slide, correct? Yeah, Ross was on Slip and Slide, then me and Ross did a record. Right. After Ross did a diss 
a record on, on Slip and Slide. Slide. Yep. Oh, he wow. did a diss record. Then I did a record with Ross. Mm-hmm. And then Slip and Slide thought you was dissing him too, or no? What, well, <laughs> not no. My song wasn't a diss song. Mm. You know, I just thought he was a, a hot rapper. But he had a mixtape. Right. He had a mixtape, and he had did a you know whole album. Right. And one of the records he had dissed them. Right. You know, uh, on there, and then I ended up listening to the mixtape. I right. liked them as an artist. Right. You know, him and Dirtbag. So I yeah, put both Dirt of them Bag. on. Dirtbag yeah. was cool and Dre's yeah. artist. Yeah, yeah, I put them both on a record. Right. You know, I was like, these two dudes, I, how this shit right here. So right. I ended up putting them on a the record before he blew up. Now, everybody, like, a lot of people, they say, uh, yo, I run this town, or... I'm the king or I'm the such and such. Like, you are really, like, the king of Miami. Like, from families that that praise you for helping their sons play football and get into certain things for football, and then from families that you've helped. Because when you put on a rapper, DMX said this on our third uh, interview, he said, when you put on a rapper, you employ eight other motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, right. one rapper comes with eight other motherfuckers. So if you put on... If you put on... Just three rappers was eight times three. Twenty-four. That's twenty-four people that you employ. Yeah. And I'm just talking about three. So you are like so revered, you so loved. Definitely. Like you can walk around by yourself. Is that is 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 that something you proud of? Because is that something you always thought that this is what you how you want to be? Or what? Well, I didn't. I didn't think it out. Right. You know, I just know who my mom and my dad raised. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just did I just did everything with common sense. Right. And at the same time I made sure that, you know, even how big I got, whether right. I was in Japan or China or uh-huh. wherever, or France or Holland, mm-hmm. doing a show that I would eventually end up back home. Mm-hmm. You know, and when those opportunities came to be, you know, an executive in New York and L.A., right. uh, get into the movie industry. I know I couldn't leave because I need to go back to Miami. Right. You know, and because, you know, I always figured, hey, look, there got to be some other loops coming after me. If I leave like every other dude do, right. you know, they'll leave their own city after they blow up. Oh, I'm going to the big lights. You know what I'm saying? In Hollywood, now you just left the city. So I always looked at it from the standpoint you know, I really yeah. got to rep my city no. and I got to be able to put other people on. And I applaud you for that. I applaud you for that. Yeah. Obama just recently had two meetings. He met with all the rappers. And then he had a party. He didn't invite me. Are you taking it personal? He didn't invite me neither. Fuck Obama? Are we saying fuck? No, we can't say fuck Obama. Do you out of office? And then we say, yeah, he he what say rappers he did he meet with? He, nigga, Rick Ross was in there with a motherfucking house arrest yeah, chain. Yeah, house. Yeah, he had a house arrest chain. Let's yeah, make some noise for Rick Ross. Basement. Keep it in my head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Carl was yeah, there, yeah. Carl was yeah, there, yeah. Pusha T was there. Yeah. He invited a whole bunch of niggas that I know I committed a felony with as well. <laughs> and he invited them. He didn't invite me. Yeah, this is the first I heard that. But um, have you ever been invited to the White House like NWA? No. Because no. NWA, <laughs> NWA had some fucked up shit. And then they actually, he went to a Republican. NWA, yeah. Yeah, like uh, yeah the Republican. I was just wondering. I don't know. Yeah, that, I mean, that, that would have been weird. If, if, if Bernie would have won out. Nah, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Now, are yeah, yeah, you yeah. into politics? I'm deep in the politics. Yeah, he's, now, a, he's a politician so, so, in his own right. So, man. all right, Akineli tried to open a club on South Beach. They I shut him. Told him that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, they shut him down. So now he's trying yeah. to run for mayor of not Miami, of South. I didn't Beach. even know that was a city by itself. Yeah, Miami Beach. I didn't is even a city. know South. Yeah. No, he said South Beach. Yeah, South Beach is a city. I, I didn't know, know Miami Beach is, but he's saying South Beach is a city. I never knew that. I never knew that neither. Right. That's the first time. Yeah, I know Miami <laughs> Beach is. You sure, you got that shit right. <laughs> he said. He said. I asked him on he the show. Last week. I asked him. I said, "Are you sure it's a city?" Right. He says, "It's a city." Now he, now he, I know he's from my hood in Queens, so he might be getting. It wrong. I know, but the <laughs> fact is, it doesn't matter. I think that Donald Trump. South Beach. Yeah, I don't feel bad now. He don't know that. It doesn't matter, but this is what I think. I think that, that Donald Trump has set it up for people like you who have uh, maybe a, 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 a filtered past, but you have a, such a bright future that uh, um, uh, uh, that people like you can run for, for mayor. No, because- I set it up for Donald Trump. There you go. Mm. Yeah. 
Is that a good yeah. thing? That Break that down. Yeah, that yeah. I don't know if we're going to make noise for that. No, no, I mean, what, what I mean by that, what uh-huh. I mean by that uh-huh. is when I ran for mayor here, uh-huh. right? I you came, ran for mayor? Yeah, he, yeah, 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 he ran oh, for mayor. Official. I came in third. All uh, right. Uh, I ran, used my own money. You know what I'm saying? The what same thing. This? I do remember this. Not yeah. too long ago. It wasn't too long yeah, ago. Yeah, I lived out here when you yeah, did that. The yeah. same thing you see Trump doing. All right. I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's almost like the, right. straight out of my playbook. Wow. You know what I'm wow. saying? Basically keeping it real. Mm. You know, appealing to uh, people who who feel like they left out. Right. You know Wait, what I'm do you like Trump? The way you sound, you sound like you... you no, I don't like Trump. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I'm no. worried about Trump. No. Right. Trump never ended up in my uh, rap. I never glorified him. Uh-huh. You know, most of the guys from New York glorified him. I ain't gonna lie. He's, they, in, they he's about 500 yeah. hip-hop songs. I ain't gonna lie. Trump is just about 500 and, and New York I, hip-hop songs. I stayed this nigga whole time. I, I'm worried about Trump. I ain't Trump. gonna lie. I won't even lie. But the nigga act like a nigga then. You, exactly. He act like one of Trump, us. Yeah. Trump, Trump is a rap song gone bad. As soon as he got, as soon as he got popping, he said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with the white racists because yeah, it's yeah. them. Those are the people that's gonna come out." Yeah, and you, I actually hung out with Trump. What? Yeah, I, I, I believe it. I believe it. You know, it. back in the day, yeah, and he got just like you said, I'm nothing like you. You know, yeah, he was, yeah. he was a cool motherfucker. Did you give him a dirty? No. So no, no I gotta <laughs> give Trump a dirty man next hey, time. Hey, hey, actually, I thought Trump, I was like, <laughs> you gonna try <laughs> the party I was at with him? I was like, oh, y'all trying to get something on me? Let me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, hey, y'all got cameras in this room, yeah. Now Trina, she's one of the, like Miami stables. She's like one of the first female artists, sex symbol. Kind of took your your um, you know, a, a format. Um, how, how how you feel about Trina? Is, is that's how, my girl. That's your, I that's mean, that's like, like that's like, that's my little niece. Uh, that's you know, me and me and uh, you know, she when you hear the song "It's Your Birthday" uh-huh. and say Trina, "It's Your Birthday." Oh, that was her own I song. never even thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was that, that I was. I never uh, thought about that. You know, she used to hang out at the studio and all that. Right. Uh, I know her since she was real, real young. Right. Uh, stepdad, Mr. Wonderful, on Fifteenth. Mm. That's the store we used to hang out at, mm. you know, when I was a rough guy, mm. you know, and she used to be the little girl running around and, right. and all that, you know, that's when I was not a nice guy. Okay. And so I kind of watch her grow up. <laughs> okay. Not a nice guy. So big up Trina. Trina, Trick Daddy, everybody from Miami, these artists, we in Miami, we want to respect that. So Luke, let me, and we're pretty much wrapping this up. You started like the, 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 the sex, the strip clubs. I had a party with you and Sobe Live. This shit was turned the fuck out. I mean, this was years ago when Sobe Live was open. But then my manager told me, he was like, I said, yo, we, we, we You should have went to the one in the tunnel. No, oh, I went to the one. No, I did. I didn't go to your joint in the tunnel. I'm sorry. I might have been locked up at the time. I'm not sure. Oh, but okay. You was locked up you, for a period of time. What, 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 what year was this? You thinking? I did the tunnel, man. Bro, I had like to be. That must have been crazy. 91, 92. And I did, uh, I, did uh, I got I was barred out of... Out of uh, speed, no uh, uh, Apollo. Oh, you got bar- who got barred from Apollo? Hold on, you got barred from Apollo. What the yeah, fuck yeah, did you yeah. do? Go on. I just did the Apollo first, the other day on first Thursday. Fucking five rows caved in. Oh, from because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did. Ass is shaking. Oh, that shit was. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers got uh-huh. motherfuckers uh-huh. girlfriend stabbed the boyfriend and shit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got after the show, uh-huh. girlfriend on stage uh-huh. giving head and shit. Uh-huh. God damn it! <laughs> no boy, then killed this. Them Miami boys and fucked it up. Do you was, think they could be a new Luke right now? Do you think like right no, now? No, no. Like what you? you no, like, no, no. Okay. Nah. I, I don't think they can. Nah, 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 nah. man. You can't reinvent nah, that. You know, I'm the only one they can't get. Can it be they can a, get it, They can get the rest of them. They can't. They can can nah. it be a new two live crew? Like, I'm talking about other niggas, like new artists. A new? They two can, live? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? But not Lou. Not no Lou. Okay. No, nah, you got you to gotta go through some shit. I don't think that's fair either. I, do think, I don't think there could be a new two live crew. I'm going to tell you why. Because it was just the era that was brand new. Anybody right. does it now, it's not brand new no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right, why but, I don't but think But since be him, new. it's been op, too short, it's been keeping it alive. Um, but it's not going to be as shocking. Look, when two yeah, life people came, it was shocking. That's what I'm saying. Like another new young dude that. that like, what are they going to do? Fuck it. Because most of them. Backwards? Yeah, like, what the most, fuck they most of them, they'll have a naked video and then they'll go into another video. Right, right. Like, all of their videos was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
my right arm was hurting. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was sitting on the... I was jerking off as a kid watching your videos. I'm sorry, it's weird, it's weird. I mean, it, but I gotta tell you, you, you know what I mean? So there cannot be another loop. Right. There cannot, cannot I don't, be I don't a, think so. I, I, I would like to see that. I would like to see artists resurgence, like like with styles, like not, not biting nobody's shit, but reminding me, like Joey Badass reminds me of Buckshot. There might be resemblance. Nas reminds me of Rakim. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not saying Nas is not Rakim and, 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 and Joey Badass isn't Buckshot, but it does remind me. You know what I mean? They, they can't, it can never be. Can they, can somebody come close? Resemblance, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Now, when the last time you've been in a strip club? Yesterday. Last time I was in the strip club last week. <laughs> last week? Close and, enough. And are you like, all right, they keeping the tradition going, or are you like, let me get the fuck up out of here most of the time? I mean, more, I mean you got different types of strip clubs. Mm. I mean, you got some that's just straight they don't play hip-hop. and shit. Oh, you know, the straight brothels. They just yeah. fucking yeah. Talk about them. That's almost know, all my strip Vegas? clubs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Vegas you got or some, Hollandale. Some clubs that's... Dancing and mm. shout out to showgirls. That's yeah. color yeah. That's Shout out to cheaters. Huh? Yeah, some strip clubs ain't got no fucking chairs. Everybody standing up looking at the stage. Uh-huh. You know, it, I mean, they got comedy and shit going on. I mean, what, it's different. The they got cheers? comedy going on. Scarlet. Yeah. Shout out to Scarlet. 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 Of the blick of the block from um cheaters. Take yeah. one. Take one was was always. Yeah, you crazy. know, you know, and yeah, yeah. Let me all, tell you all the mistresses in the strip club. They fucked up the mistress game. Miami and Atlanta. I remember at one point, we would look at y'all niggas and be like, they throwing their money to bitches. Yeah, they, right now, there's no regular clubs in New York. Yeah. It's only strip clubs. Yeah. But I remember us clowning niggas. Like, yeah. like yeah. I remember the players ball and all that. We used to laugh at niggas in the South. <laughs> like, these niggas is crazy. Y'all hang out with, the, with bitches getting naked. And then, remember, like strip club was a, a one night a week thing. It was like right. a, on a Tuesday, on a Friday. Now it's an everyday thing. Every day something is open. And and now like, y'all niggas done integrated New York. Oh, yeah. Y'all some fucked up niggas for that, man. Yeah. I'm not making noise for that. I'm just letting y'all know that. No, that's good. Good. Y'all yeah. fucked up our whole nah, city. My that's city. Good. That's it's, a part, good. it's a part of our culture in Miami. Like, you, you could just, <laughs> not, like, I mean, back in the days, you could look at a girl and be like, oh, that's a nice girl. Like, right now, you could, like, if you see a girl rolling a bag, you're like, oh man, I'm fucking Miami because got this bitch. This, this bitch is rolling back. You just came from Tootsie's, huh? You just came from, yeah, 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 yeah. like, it's crazy. So I, I just want to thank you once J-O-J again. Blue. <laughs> J-O-J Blue. JetBlue. Blue. Uncle Luke, man. Oh, we you got the bag. We got, we got, we got a bag. We got a bag for you. A bag? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. We got a bag for you. We're trying to be professional. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? This from the drink champs to you. The drink champs Not to you. Not that drink you didn't like. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my personal. That's his personal. I'm Cuban, but I'm fucking with the Colombians. Okay. No, uh, and we got big, the Dream Champs shirt, Dream Champs cups. Yeah, big up that Royal Elite, Fat Joe. Big up Mo, uh, Moet. Uh, big up Rick Ross. Uh, Fat Joe, uh, young Fat Joe still live here? Man, he's getting so much money, man. He, Fat he, Joe been coming here for years. Yeah, man. yeah. He, go, he still live here? Oh uh, yeah, he still live here. Yeah. He still live here. Um, uh, uh, big yeah, up to Joe, September man. 10th. We having this uh, party go down. So all the people we want you to come out. We gonna invite all the guests. Uncle Luke, I can't thank you so much because you are the Miami King. And, and, and we wouldn't feel comfortable continuing this show or having this show without the, the no. boss man trying. coming through and co-signing us. We want to salute. We want to tell the people, go out there and get your book. It's very important. The because what you, what you heard today is just a piece of how mm. phenomenal We're not even this chipping the surface is. with that You know what I mean? And then not only that, you, you, you young motherfuckers. Not yeah. only do you listen to this interview and then read this book. But go out there and do your research. Go out there and see why you heard EFN's voice cracking and my voice cracking as we asking questions and we sitting back and learning things. It's because we're excited to see a legend. It is not bad for you to be a fan of somebody else. Nah, man. Take what the, makes they, a great they, artist is the great artists are fans of other people yep. and ain't afraid to be fans of other people. Here you are. This is what makes Drinks Champs dope is that you get to hear me and EFN act like young boys again. We're geeking out right now. Because we're sitting here, sitting with a legend like Luke, and we just sitting here and just so open because, and it don't matter the fuck what ratings we at, that don't matter. What matters is to keep hip-hop alive. And we don't interview new artists. 
We interview legends because that's who we know about. We don't got to Google. But if you're a young guy and you into this drink champs, I suggest you Google. Yeah. You buy the book. Only, buy the book. No, that's what I'm about to say. You not only listen to this interview, you not only listen to the book, but go and get your interview because when you see Nelly Tip Trail, and, and I'm talking about the video now, I'm not right. talking about the girl, right. but the video, a lot of people think that that was the first video, the first X rated video. Period. Oh, we knew that. And that, that bothers me. Yeah. That bothers me because it's like, damn, as an OG, I'm the next generation. So I kind of blame myself. But I can't be on Twitter every single day. But some of you guys who love hip hop, go out there and do your research because you ain't doing nothing new under the sun. And that's not a diss to you guys. That's to stay tuned, 100%. do your research. Uncle Luke, know we can't think. You. Know your history. Know your history. Ain't nothing about that. Because just think about it. Us as being, you know, African, Latinos, or whatever, if we don't know the history that we got on a boat and motherfuckers put us in this slave shit, then guess what? If you don't know, no. next time a motherfucker asks you on a boat, you're going to be like, let me get my paddle. And your monkey ass going to be somewhere dumb, weird, stupid. So go do your motherfucking history. Uncle Luke, we love you, man. We're going to leave this in the you. building. Let's go, pop. Make some noise.